Our world is destroyed. Fire rained from the sky. The land burned. The earth shook. The oceans raged. The devastation was total. Dust covered the earth, blotting out all traces of the sun. It seemed impossible that anything could survive. But amid the destruction, there is hope. And hope it is, guys! The hope for a new Advance Wars Let's Play is here. So yes, it's time to begin the final and latest Advance Wars title um, so for the DS. Advance Wars Days of Ruin. How's it going everybody on YouTube? My name is Hesicore Gaming. And welcome, guys, to my brand new Let's Play. So yes, this is Advance Wars Days of Ruin for Nintendo DS. Back in... 2008. And this, of course, at the time was the latest and last Advance Wars game that came out on Nintendo DS. <clears throat> then, of course, we wouldn't get another Advance Wars game until we got, you know, the reboot camp later. On for the switch um, but uh yeah so this game oh man let me tell you this is probably one of my favorite events wars because I mean not only for like the gameplay is fun too but um, also the fact that let's just say this story in game is a bit more darker shall we say compared to like the previous titles which were all like you know cartoony and you know, not nothing serious or anything. But this game, oh man, this game. Uh, this one has a more serious, dark tone, shall we say. Um, it's, you know, it's a nice change of pace, because, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the previous Advance Wars games, but just something more about this game. It just feels more realistic, you could say. More serious, you could say. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. So yes, we're about to begin. Um, but first, before we begin, of course, um, let's see what we got in chef. First, before we do that, let me go switch to my uh, layout here. Alright, how's it going, guys? Alright, before we get started, again, let's say this we've got chat. So, first person we have is YouTube Social. Hello, YouTube Social. Welcome to the stream. Hope you do well. Um, we got T Rex. Hey, T Rex, welcome. Uh, we have Jason. Hello, Jason. Welcome. Uh, we have Phantom Flame. Hey, Flame, welcome. Can't see my eyes, so hold on. Alright, how's that? Sorry. Sometimes <laughs> the Fit in for there we go. Kind of. Maybe if it here maybe? No. How about here? There. Small. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so hi to Phantom Flame. And last but not least, we have Autumn. Hey Autumn, welcome. Uh, not many people in chat. Oh well. Again, I know Vampire is not everyone's favorite game. So 
for those who are still here, I appreciate you guys being here. Okay. Alright, how's audio guys? Is, can you guys hear me okay in the game audio okay? Testing, one, two, three, testing. Yeah, we're all fluid, right? Yeah. Okay, let me try to lower the volume a little bit here, just in case. Okay, let me try again. Uh, testing one, two, three. Hey guys in chat, you guys doing okay too? I want to make sure you guys are doing okay. Sorry guys, I'm just DMing someone here real quick. Nope. I think I need to put my microphone. I need a better microphone. Thing or different angle for these. I hate the angle of my camera sometimes.
Okay. So, let's go over our options real quick here. Of course, we have okay. So we have single player and multiplayer. So single player, we have the campaign and the free battle, which basically means you can do free battles against the AI or against a uh, few friends if you want. Also, you can play online as well with people, but fortunately, you I mean, can't anymore since it's gone. The design room, we can make our own maps, or we can change the colors of the commanders if we want. Uh, records, we can view stuff, history, and there's options. There's some options here. Uh, it's fine. Oh, I'm all fast. Okay, here we have the campaign, and I get free battle. Over a hundred maps. Whew, that's a lot. I see those videos where soldiers try to load tanks on the flatbed trucks. Uh, no, I have not. All right, here's the campaign. Restore hope to a dying world as you lead your right tech army through a post-apocalyptic wasteland. So yeah, here's the main story. Now, I did a bit of testing just to make sure the game's working okay. Um, and, uh, but yeah, so far it's going well. Uh, no issues, so... Oh yeah, side note as well, I am playing this on emulator because for some reason I could not get mine to actually play on my capture card. Like, I have the physical copy, but it could not load for some reason on my capture card, so... Sucks I couldn't play it on my capture card that I wanted to, but so I'm about to make do what I have here, which is of course on my computer. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. With that said and done. So yeah, we're gonna begin a new game. So, uh. Alright, are you guys ready to go? I'm ready. Alright, let us begin the story. Okay, here's the intro again. Our world is destroyed. Yeah, yeah, so. Basically, giant meteors hit the Earth, and of course, 90% of humanity is gone, so. Yeah. Unless you're sailor on the story, you'll find out it's way more darker compared to the other games in the series. And you'll see why. the destruction there is hope that's a key theme in this game hope all right chapter one days of ruin huh, roll credits <laughs> oh and here we have someone named will Please, please let me find someone. There's no one here. The whole world is dead. Hello? Help me, please. I don't want to be alone. Wait, there's someone there. Where's my radio? Maybe I can call them and tell them I'm here. Hey, Brother Ryan, welcome. Hope you do well. Help me! My name's Will. I'm a cadet at the Rubinel Military Academy. Um, do you read? Over? 
<laughs> What's so funny? Look sharp, roaches. We got us a live one, and he's just a punk kid. You know the drill. I want his food, and I want his weapons. Leave his corpse where it falls. Ain't no one gonna complain. <laughs> no, don't do this. There are too many of them. I gotta get out of here. Okay, hold on, Will. Focus. Remember your train. What's the first priority in a combat situation? Right. Examine your surroundings and gauge the strength of the enemy. Okay. So here's zooming. There's two map views, overview and zoom. Talk between them with R or by tapping the icon. So like this. I'm doing fine, Brother Brian. Okay, and here we have our main character we're playing as Will. We'll learn, we'll learn more about Will later on. Um, now, for those who don't know what Advanced Wars is, just to recap, basically it's a turn-based uh, uh, strategy game where basically you control different armies and stuff, and you move them around the battlefield. It's kind of like Fire Emblem in a way, but... Although Advanced Wars is similar to Fire Emblem, there are differences between the two series, of course. And of course, one of those is, of course, this is set like in, you know, m modern military. And Fire Emblem's like, you know, medieval fantasy, kind of. <clears throat> now here we have um, infantry. We have the recon. And we have a new unit in this game. They're called bikes. So basically, bikes are kind of like infantry and recons in a way. Because not only can they attack, but they can also capture bases as well. Uh, infantry, of course, will be used to capture bases and properties, which we'll talk about again later on when we get to actual properties and stuff. And the recon is meant for, like, hence the name, recon. It's meant to, you know, um, scout ahead and see um, any enemies in distance. <clears throat> now, fortunately, we are outnumbered. As you can see, three to one. We cannot win this, so the only thing we can do retreat. Uh, hi Jordan, welcome. Hope you do well. I can't take them on. So I need to fall back. There's a good spot. Alright, you're deployment. Select the unit you want to deploy, then where you want to go. Options sometimes appear after unit moves. So yeah, either check out the here. So, uh, let's pull you back here. Okay, what's next? Okay, ending the day. You and your enemy will take turns moving units, select end turn for the menu to finish your forces moves for the day. So yeah, once you move our units, there's nothing else we can do except just do this. Okay, so we have different options here. We have tutorials, mission info, options, quit, load, save, or end turn. Uh, mission info, we have tactics, terms, stats, chart, or surrender. Um, tactics is basically a way of, you know, the games basically tell you what to do tactics for the chapter we're doing. Uh, turns, if you use the turns and defeat conditions for each battle. Uh, stats, you can use stats of our units. Chart, we can use chart of our forces. Or we can just surrender and uh, we can just basically give up. Turn. Let's, let's, let's do. Oh, and suddenly, give me tactical Lin. I've got a single soldier to be pursued by a pack of raiders. The soldier appears to be one of ours. Shall we intervene? Do it. Yes, sir, Captain. Who are you guys? Let's get the auctions. Fall back and let us handle this. Uh, okay. What's the big idea, Dogface? This ain't got nothing to do with you. 
It's got everything to do with me. I'm a soldier. It's my duty. You remember that what duty is, don't you? I think you used to be soldiers. Duty? <laughs> don't make me laugh. This world's dead, soldier boy, and so is your precious duty. We stopped being soldiers when the meteors hit. We're survivors. This is our time, and there is no law. We rob, we kill, we're kings. Not anymore. And who's gonna stop us? You? That's right. The days of preying on survivors are over. We're going to put you down like the rabbit dogs you are. You may have forgotten your duty, but we have not. <laughs> Keep talking, loser. I need a place to aim. Move out, Lin. Let's end this quickly. Yes, sir. Alright, we got some reinforcements. We got, ooh, we got a tank and recon of our own. <clears throat> uh, hey, Twisted. Welcome. I think I lost it by 2%. Wait, what do you mean I lost 2%? What do you mean by that? Alright. Because I can't see her profile next to me. I think she's pissed. I'm not paying attention. Oh, you mean your YouTube profile picture? Last time I saw you playing Markar Kevin, you're getting better. Yeah, I, I think I'm getting there. I mean, I'm not the best. Uh, you know, I'm not the best Mario Kart player, but, you know, I try my best, you know. <clears throat> Alright. Now looking at a knife with what I think is my blood on it. Good. Post apocalyptic. Sounds like something Stern would do. I would, but if Hawk couldn't punch me, I would have done worse. Do you know what's missing? Learn to break drift if you practice on time trials and verses. Yeah, I mean, I try, but. It's. You know, I, there's just some sharp turns I just cannot do. Now we got some reinforced. Let's go go to tactics room. We'll learn some tactics. It takes practice. You can use. Uh, what does it take? Mr. Scooty or Bitty Buggy? Oh, I do use a scooter. I forget what it's called, what scooter I use, but I do use a scooter. Oh, that's Mr. Scoot. Oh, that's Mr. Scoot? Oh. Hmm. Huh? Where am I? What's this room doing here? This is the war room, Will. You can come here to learn tactics for the current battle. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, wait a minute. How'd you know my name? And how did you pull me off the battlefield like that? And who are you anyway? Please, now is not the time to worry about minor details. You don't need to know my name. You just need to take my advice. Uh, okay. Now let's get down to brass tactics. It's tactics time. What if someone made an Advance Wars movie? Yo, they did, T-Rex. I'd be down to see it. Uh, hey, Yotsman, welcome, and ow, Caliph. How you doing, Caliph? Ow. 
Oh, check DMs. Sure. Oh, that's yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I do use that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I do. Uh, I do use that one. Yes, that's the scooter I do use for my card eight. So. Uh, your last. What you said. Uh, what you say. Oh, your YouTube profile. Okay, so you're gonna talk about YouTube profile. Okay. I see. I see. Uh, hey, Orange here. Welcome to the stream. Hope you do well. Uh, so many bullet holes and punch holes all over your body. I know, right? I'm a total mess. <laughs> How am I not dead already? I don't know. It's best with rollers or Azure rollers. The real question is, uh, would it be in the Last Wars movie, be animated or live action? Hmm. Good question. Good question. I mean, I wouldn't mind animated, but also real live action could work too as well. Throw the towel on me. Clean yourself up. Ugh, fine. I'll clean myself up. <laughs> Not my fault I'm a mess. All right, position your units next to the enemy and attack them. That's it. What do you mean that's it? What? It's a perfectly good strategy. Oh, fine. I'll tell you more. The more damage you do to an enemy, the weaker its counter strike will be. Striking first is very important. Make your hit first hit count. I think I understand. Thank you. I'll take care of this battle for you. But remember these tips in the future. That's it. You can go now. Oh, I try not to get killed, all right? <laughs> Will do. All right, but let's get some combat. Let's go. All right. So in order to attack, just select a unit like the tank here. Move next to the enemy, and then select fire. And you can see, um, it tells you how much damage you're gonna do. So in this case, we do 77% damage. Happy World Light. Ah, uh, yes, Happy World Light. Yes. All right, fire. Ooh, good shot. All right, now finish off with the recon. This, this is like training at all. This is the real thing. All right, so this is a new thing in this game. Level up units. Uh, as you can see, there's a number next to the recon. So basically, if you defeat enemy unit, the winning unit's level will rise, increasing its attack and defense. A single unit can rise three levels. So basically, each time a unit defeats a unit, enemy units, they will get one level. And then they do it again, they get level two. And then level three is the max level. And with level three level units, uh, their attack and defense is way better. So. All you have is unique specs. Make sure to check the intel on each one. So yeah, basically, if you look at the info for units, it tells you which units are weak to get others. Um, with this two, uh, and it also tells you the loot type, armor type, and yeah, basically, yeah, it's, it's like stats in a way, basically, so. Let's fire on you. Familiarize yourself with the different terrain types is essential as well. And of course, um, you can also look at the info for the maps or different terrain bonus uh, terrains as well. So in this case, we got woods here, which is just three defense. As you can tell by the stars there, three stars means it's defense. Um, ruins here only has one defense, and roads have no defense whatsoever. So. Terrain is a very important factor in this game. You definitely want to use terrain for sure. Battlefields can be chaotic, confusing places. If you are at a loss for your next move, 
is a way to get advice. Open the menu, select mission info, then choose tax options. Yeah, okay, we already did that tactic, so. Also, day 200 of asking Kobe to play one of my favorite RPGs. Oh, I mean Golden Sun, right? <laughs> I know you want me to play that one. Just out a dummy of my IRL friends. Oh, I know you even want me to play that one, Cliff. <laughs> and there we go, we win. Ugh! Stinking soldiers. Half of the hills, roaches. We're outmanned. And we get an S rank, which is the best rank you can get. And as you can see, we have three uh, requirements to get S rank. We have speed, power, and technique. So, just like in the previous Advanced Wars games, um, you need to do certain requirements if you want to get an S rank. So. Basically, um, speed is how fast you finish a map. Power is basically means how many units you damage in a turn, I believe. And then, and technique is um, how many units you can keep alive, basically. So yeah, you need to do speed, you need to be fit power, and also need to keep your units alive if you can, in order to get the best rank possible. So. I do need to go to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Why want to go Arkham Asylum? That place is dangerous, man. Alright. This will teach him to prey on survivors. And here we can see um, units we used, and then units we lost. So, basically we lost no units whatsoever, but the enemy, they lost everything, so... Uh, from watching notifications are shit. Oh wait, did you get so you're saying you don't did you get notification for this cliff? Is that what you're saying? Or if so, that's great because I know how YouTube is notifications because they don't like to send notifications sometimes when I go live, which is annoying. So You alright kid? Oh. oh there you go. Yeah, I I am now, thank you. My name's Will. I'm a cadet at the academy. I mean, I was before the meteors. A cadet, huh? Thought I recognized that jacket. So what happened? The academy is gone. One minute I was eating lunch, and then... Everyone died. Instructors and friends and... Everybody. I was buried in the mess hall. I've been digging myself out for... I don't know, weeks, I guess? I looked for survivors. I only found rubble and bodies. I thought I was the only one left. You did well to stay alive. I'm impressed. I didn't want to... I didn't want to die. I'm Captain Brenner. I command the 12th Battalion, pride of the Rubino Army. And this is my second in command. First Lieutenant Lin, welcome to Brenner's Wolves. We've made it our mission to seek out and eight survivors of the disaster. The world is a dangerous place now. I suggest you come with us. Yes, sir. That would be fantastic. You won't be sorry about... Your... Oh, are you alright? <laughs> sorry. I haven't eaten in a while, long time. How was your stomach rumbling? I thought we were under attack. Come on, we'll get you some spare rations. Just don't get too excited. All we have is canned bread. Alright, so that's the first mission done. Easy peasy. <clears throat> Basically, how much... Realistically, how much military assets would be left or accessible if the world the end scenario would... Probably not much. Basically, I'm guessing. Alright, and here we have the world map. 
Poetry can't explore much, but here's what we have so far. Now, if I remember correctly, there are approximately... I don't remember how many missions there is. I think there's... 25 missions? If I remember correctly, let me just confirm. Oh no, 26, never mind. Never mind, 26 chapters. I literally see my YouTube profile in real life doing yonder things. Why else do you think I would need to go there except... Well, for one thing, I don't think Harley Quinn will let you do that. Because otherwise she'll just bash you with her like bat or something. <laughs> and two, again, Arkham Asylum is a dangerous place. With the criminally insane, as they say. If you want to go there, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Alright, anyway, time to begin the next mission, mission two. Chapter two, a single life. You've got permission to leave camp, Will. Don't wander too far away. Sure thing, Captain Brenner. I'm glad you recovered enough to be up and about. I've got you to thank for it, sir. Well, don't push yourself too hard. And be careful. This area is not safe. Yeah, I... I know. What's wrong? The world really has changed, hasn't it? There's ashes everywhere, the sky is dark, it's like a never-ending twilight has fallen. Even the ground is coated in it. I've never seen so much gray. It's hard to see a smaller screen point of view. Yeah, I wish I could change that. I have a layout where I can show the second screen. The bottom screen. So. Oh, I apologize for that clip. I wish I could change it. If I had a different layout where the second screen is bigger, then yeah, I would, but I don't, so. Ashes to ashes. When the meteor struck, huge clouds of dust and ash filled the sky and blocked out the sun. We haven't seen a single ray since. When will the sky return to normal? Years? Decades? Who can say? Decades? Don't make that face, Will. We'll be okay. As long as there's life, there's hope. As long as there's life? Right. The world we knew is gone. We can't give in to despair. Someday, things will be set to right. We'll have peace, and the life we had will return. That's what I believe. That's why we must help everyone we can. Um... Keep it simple. Never give up. If you can do that, anything is possible. Got it? Got it. That's a spirit. Now let's get to work. Lynn, I want recon units kind of visiting the area. Yes, sir. Captain, I want to help too. No, I don't think so, Will. It's too dangerous. Oh, come on. Look, I know I'm still just a cadet, but that doesn't matter. I could drive or search or wash dishes or whatever. I just want to help. You got spirit. I'll give you that. Okay, you're in. But if anything happens... Get your tail back here. You're too weak to fight yet. Yes, sir. I think our military assets would be accessible would be 
Uh, MR, yes, AK meals, ready to eat, and a few small arms and rifles. Hey, are you alright? Can you hear me? Hang it up, kid. We're too late. He's dead. They're all dead. No. All these towns are the same. No survivors anywhere. That can't be true. There have to be people out there who need our help. What if Captain Brenner had given up on me? We have to keep looking. Hello? Is anyone there? Move it, kid. Mission's over. We got raiders incoming. Let Captain Brenner step in and take care of the hostiles. We stay out here any longer, and they'll be sizing us up for body bags. Just a little more time. I got a feeling about this. Captain Brenner always said to never give up. Hey, Skull Pro, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid. Uh, they, no, you're welcome. Glad you enjoyed the raid. Also, guys, check out Skull Pro, another content creator. There we go, guys. So, yeah, check out Skull Pro. There's the link. Can't stay long still working. Oh, no worries. And oh my goodness, we're getting a raid? Yo! Yo! Joe Canned Mercury Raid. Oh, Joe C and Mercury Raid. Oh. Oh, I think it's a, a double raid, I think. Alright, well, thank you for the raid, guys. Let me get my raid screen here. Okay, so what do we got from the raid? We have uh, Mercury 180, Joe C, Iman the Dragon Billionaire, and Yotaman. Uh, let's see, you were playing Helldivers together and I decided to do a raid with him. Oh, Helldivers. Nice. Spreading democracy. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you had a great stream with that. Uh, let me get your link for you. If we're, or if one of my mods can get the link, then that'd be cool. But if not, I can do a link. I think fuel will be scarce in the end of the world scenario happen. Yeah, definitely. You got shot a lot? Oof. Alright, let me get the link for you, Josie. All right, here, let me get your link for you here. And then Mercury as well. Let me get your link. Oh, there you go, I subscribed to you, Mercury, there we go. All right, let me get you your link. All right, there we go. So, you guys, there's the links to Josie and Mercury. So, yeah, if you guys not subscribed to them, be sure to do that. All right. 
Well, thank you guys so much for that raid. Really appreciate it. Oh, Mercury, thanks for subscribing as well. Welcome to Ashen Demon Army. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, for those in the new channel, don't know who I am. My name is Hestycore Gaming. I am a YouTube content creator. Also, I try to stream at Twitch as well, but mostly YouTuber. Um, we stream variety games here on the channel, so we do a bunch of Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, PC gaming content. And we stream uh, different genres of games. We do like RPGs, strategies, adventure. Every kind of genre of games out there, so. So yeah, we just do a whole bunch of fun variety content here, so. If you guys are enjoying content, then as always, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We much appreciate it. <clears throat> Also, guys, we're all for 10 likes as well. So let's do a hashtag on the kite. And out now, have a good stream. All right, no worries, Josie. Thank you so much for that raid. Really appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Have a rest of your awesome night. And uh, we'll hope to see you next time. Okay. <clears throat> In other words, make do of what you have or let nature take its course. Yeah, basically. Gotta make do of what you have, you know. Uh, hey, Thomas Gaming, welcome to the stream. Hope we do well. You okay with you? Uh, I'm alright. Just doing some advanced wars here. Alright. Alright, I think that's everybody I said hi to. Um, <clears throat> We get 100 or more likes in the stream. Actually, yes. <laughs> you know, it would be awesome YouTube social, but chances are not really. But hey, if we did, awesome. But again, the chance of that happening, pretty rare. But... All right. Could be could be rated by a big streamer, maybe. You never know. We'll see. All right, where was that? Oh yes, we're back to this battle here. All, right. All non-military personnel, fall back. This is now a combat zone. Get that tank up there and block the road. Keep the artillery safe. All right, so our mission is to defeat... Why about enemy units? Or we lose our units. So. All right, let's go over our tactics for this map. This is... This is the War Room. It's a place to learn battle tactics and strategies. If you've already been here, then welcome back. If it's your first time, I hope it's useful. So, you give me hints on how to defeat enemies and win battles? Smart kid. Now listen up. Artillery has a long range and makes it very useful. However, it can attack adjacent enemies. Block the road of your tank and pound enemies with the artillery. Don't allow the tank and artillery to get separated. Okay, got it. You seem like a fast learner. I hope that translates to battlefield success. Feel free to visit the war room anytime. Now get out there and do good. Will do. Conserve any mission might have an end. Yes, very true. Captain, the tanks make cannons out of ammunition. You can attack with the tank's machine gun, but it's far less powerful. And that's what we do. Get up there and open fire. Okay, ammunition. Very important as well. Most units have main weapons that can run out of ammo. Keep an eye on the ammo indicator. In this case, you can see the tank here has zero ammo. And when it runs out of ammo, it has to use its secondary weapon, which is the machine gun, which is not very powerful, but it is still useful to attack.
Be sure to check the attack range of both enemy forces and your own. Okay, attack range. See a unit's attack range, choose it and hold down B. Or touch the unit and hold down the stylus. You can also view enemy attack ranges. So in this case, this tells you how far the unit can be. That's an artillery unit, a powerful indirect attack unit. Take care of it. Okay, so indirects. Indirect attack units can fire over long distances without facing a counterattack, but they cannot move and attack in the same turn. So basically, they cannot attack once you move them, so you gotta wait for the next turn for that. Alright, you, let's go ahead and fire here. Alright, I think that's left to do. Under turn. You know, it's games like this that make you wonder if you were the last human on Earth. I mean, that'd be horrible. <laughs> you would get away this time. Do you hear me, soldier boy? You and that punk kid are gonna pay. <laughs> Hey, there's someone over there. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh. Now we gotta go over here and investigate. Is there something here? Alright, let's move our infantry there, shall we? Can you hear me? Hold on. Is she alive? I, I think so. Her breathing is really faint. Come on, we gotta get her back to camp. It ain't worth the trouble, kid. I doubt she's long for this world. I'm not giving up. If you won't help, I'll carry her myself. Are you serious? Hey, can you hear me? Give me a sign, will you? Ugh, that's it. I ain't stick around to rescue a corpse. Open your eyes. I know there's not much to see, but you can't give up. You're alive, you know. And when there's life, there's hope. Oh! Oh, <gasps> she's alive! Who... Who are you? Yes, you heard me. You're alive. Please, tell me. Who are you? I'm Will. I'm with Brenner's Wolves. What's your name? I... I don't know. What do you mean? I... I don't remember. I don't remember anything. Okay, okay, don't worry. You've been through a lot. Everything's going to be fine. Just come with me. Alright. Oh, it was Power Survivor. Happening. Don't worry, you're safe. You're with the Rubinel army now. Rubinel? Rubinel is one of the two main countries of this continent. At the least, at the least, at the last no date, the army employed 1,296,973 men. What the? How do you know that? Rubinel and its neighbor have been at war for a century. Hey, there he is, JB! And ow, my knee. Thought you'd redo dual strike first? Yeah, I mean, I already kind of did dual strike, so. I kind of felt like I want to do this one. Since, you know, I haven't really done this one yet. If Mad Max got a hold of military vehicles. <laughs>
Yeah, I, I just felt like I already... I mean, I could redo it in the future, but I feel like I want to do this one because, you know, I haven't done this one yet, so... And plus, I know you even want me to do this for you, so... And plus, it's one of my favorite events for this game, so... But yeah. <clears throat> Alright, what was that? Oh, yes. Despite several armistices, the fighting had never truly ended. 10% of Drubino's GPD is expended on, expended on weaponry and research. The last recorded assessment of its military strength was excellent. Where'd you learn that? I, I don't know. I don't understand. Yeah, okay, let's talk about it later. Right now we have to get back to camp in one piece. Alright. All you need to study the terrain and use it to your advantage. So yeah, terrain effects. So basically, like I mentioned earlier, terrain is very important in this game. So as you can see, mountains have like the best defense, which four stars. And then of course, roads have no defense. So. Ammo and food and everything else in the world. Fuel is scarce. Avoid unnecessary movement and keep an eye on your fuel gauge. Okay, fuel. This is also not important thing as well. Though rare, it is possible for a unit to run out of fuel. Units can refuel at any friendly city or base. So yeah, not only is ammo important as well, but fuel is also important. If you don't have fuel, you don't move. I saw mention Cham Bridge. Will we get lucky? Ah, no. And fire it will. Uh, not again! How did these dirtballs survive? This ain't over, ladies. You ain't seen the last of the beast. S-Rank! Alright. Make sure civilians are cared for. All there is, there is a unit that resupplies their uh, units, T-Rex. Well, of course, we'll talk. We'll see that unit later on, though. So, you okay, Will? I'm fine, sir. The girl we found. Who is she? I don't know. I found her unconscious near some ruined buildings. Good work. Bring her in. What's your name, sweetie? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, kid. I. Captain Brenner, let me explain. She lost her memory. Is that what you're saying? It's not surprising with all that's happened to this world. Sometimes I wish mine was gone too. There's more, sir. It seems the girl has detailed knowledge of our army. I would be interested to know where she obtained her information. Very interested, sir. Easy, Lynn. She survived her needs our help. Non enemy combatant. We'll save her, and we're going to see that she gets someplace safe. Clear? Sir. She's your responsibility now, Will. Stay with her, and see what she's taken care of. Understood. Okay. That second chapter. All right, time for chapter three. Free Haven. Okay, see this spot in the map? That's our next destination. It's a small village. Village? With people? 
That's right. The earthquakes and tidal waves destroyed most of the cities, but... In some places, survivors have begun banding together. This village is one such area. Amidst the anarchy and chaos, they've come together to reestablish laws and government. Laws? Why do they have laws? The world's been destroyed. There's no one left to help them enforce their laws. That's why they're doing it on their own. They need some way to create order. No one forcing them to do it. It's just natural to try and prevent murder and other crimes. You see, Will? Even in the most unexpected places, humanity shows its inherent virtue. Permission to disagree, Captain? It's not proof of virtue. It's simply a survival strategy. A society doesn't punish murderers. A society where anyone can be murdered. A society of sleepless nights where people live in fear of every everyone around them. When faced with that, it only makes sense to band together and agree to prohibit murder. murder. People are motivated by their own interests. The meteors didn't change that at all. <clears throat> hey, love you, fan. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? They certainly didn't change you, did they, Lynn? I see you don't still fact. I see you don't still factor in human decency. As for you, Will, you and the girl will be safe once we get you to the village. You're civilians, so they'll welcome you with open arms. At Freehaven, pull it right there. Identify yourselves. Don't try anything funny. We got snipers watching you. My name's Brenner. I captain the 12th Battalion of the Rubino Army. I need to talk to your mayor. Tell him I'm here. What if you're with those raiders? What if you're here to attack us? Yeah, I bet that's it. You came back to kill us all, didn't you? Listen, we don't want trouble. Your mayor owes me his life. Tell him my name, and I'm sure he'll agree to see us. Come on, guys. Help us out, will you? Hey, you're too young to be one of them raiders. Maybe you're okay after all. Wait here. We'll go get the mayor. Ugh, about time. The cakes are burning. Save the cakes! So it really is you. Your weapons and uniforms have my people scared half to death. What do you want, Brenner? We're trying to live in peace. We don't need your kind here. So it seems. Don't worry. We'll move out as soon as we finish what we came here for. We rescued your civilians a few clicks back, including an injured girl. I want you to take them. I hope you're not marching in here giving us orders. I truly don't. Things are that simple, friend. My village is barely getting by as it is. I want to give you an orders. I'm asking for your help. We're just a couple of kids. I'm not going to make it out there alone. But that's not our fault. We didn't make this world. But we have to live in it. That's reality. Reality? The reality is that there's nothing out there but cockroaches and corpses. These people survived. They're alive, and it's up to us to keep them that way. Maybe that was true before, but now? I don't think so. Millions and millions of people are dead. I don't think a couple more is such a tragedy. The more people we have living here, the more mouths we have to feed. We can't afford it. So you think they're not worth saving? That's not what I'm saying. You don't want to see anyone die, Brenner. You know that. But you don't know what you're asking. We simply don't have the means to take them in. I'm sorry. I see. You're soldiers. You can use your weapons to take what you need. All we want to be is left in peace. Now do us a favor and take your troubles elsewhere. You heard the mayor. Hit the road. We don't need warmongers in our lives. You read me? <sighs> I read you. Sorry, Will. But looks like you're going to be trying with us until we find another village. Don't worry, Captain. That's fine with... Head for cover! Those raiders are back! Where's the mayor? The raiders? Are you sure? Oh boy. Look at this, roaches! Soldier boys visiting our village! Nothing that a nice nothing not nothing like a nice day of raiding, murder, and revenge. <laughs> of all the luck. Dear Mother Mercy, look at those savages. You've got to help us, Brenner. 
They destroyed every village in the region, and now they come for us. Those innocent lives. They have tanks. We have sticks and rocks. Please, you have to help us. All right, lead them to us. You get your people out here. Start evacuating. In regards to the payment, there's no time for that now. Get moving. Hey, Prairie Gaming, how you doing? Welcome. Captain, we only have five units at our disposal, while the enemy has nine. They enjoy a significant advantage in firepower. Bullets don't win wars. Soldiers do. And I'm betting ours are smarter. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, we're a bit outnumbered. Nine compared to our five, but that's fine. Numbers don't mean anything. Okay, so our objective of this mission is to defeat all the units. Alright, let's go over the tactics. Oh, hello again. I was wondering when you were going to drop by. <clears throat> Welcome to the war room, the place to come for tactical advice and strategy. You're going to help me win this battle, right? I'm still kind of new at this. Patience, Grasshopper. All will become clear. There's a narrow pass through the mountains at the top of the map. Position a tank and artillery there, but watch for the enemy artillery. Place your mechs in the mountains to make their attacks more effective. Got it. Are you sure? That's a lot to absorb. I'm sure. Alright, well if you forget something, feel free to ask. I'm chock full of helpful advice, so come back anytime. Will do. Alright, first order of business. Take care of these infantry here. The enemy has units in the mountains. That terrain weakness weakens our attack. We can use the woods and mountains too. I want casualties to at a minimum. So yeah, as you can see, terrain is very helpful. As you can see. Um, this infantry only took uh, one mountain, well, one terrain star, which is for the planes, and of course, the mountains is the best defense, which is four stars. So that's why I'm fighting in the mountains is very advantageous. To have. You, you're right here. <laughs> is that all you got? We're gonna slaughter you. Move! I want that dog face his head on a plate. We're still outnumbered, and these scum will fight to the last man. That's right, sir. I think we'll have to eliminate them all. Alright. Best we keep artillery right here. Boom. Got it. Okay. Infantry right here. And our tank right here.
Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow. One of the mech units has been hit. It's not looking too good. That's another mech unit. Units of the same type can be joined together. Combining two damage units will give you one stronger unit. See how the battle unfolds and join units if you feel it, un if you feel it unnecessary. Oh, no. What are you waiting for? Kill them! Kill them all! I'm going to wipe you off. It's the last thing I do. Hey, Wanting's here. Hello, Wanting. Welcome. And there we go. No! Oh, you're gonna pay for this. Head for home, roaches. We'll feast on these fools another day. That's right. That's how the 12th Battalion fights. Awaiting confirmation on the enemy withdrawal. Sir, they're gone. There's not a raider to be seen for miles. Good work, everyone. Captain Brenner, I'd like to revisit our earlier conversation. I'm not above reconsidering my position on your refugees. Is that so? It is, however, one condition. It's, however, there is one condition. Go on. As you see, we live in constant danger from those raiders. They may well regroup and attack us again tomorrow. Do you really think it's a good idea to leave your kids in such a situation? Kids? Hey, I can look after... We know where the raiders' camp is. They've taken over an old army base east of here. Unfortunately, we don't have the weapons or trained to go after them. I get it. So we wipe out the raiders, and you agree to take in... Something like that, yes. If you agree to my proposal, I'll consider your request. Alright. Alright, we're doing well so far. on to chapter four and she get moving on there we go this new chapter <laughs> moving on <laughs> uh, listen up roaches we're low on supplies so it's time to swarm a village take what you want steal what you want kill what you want there's no law but the beast law no prisoners no mercy <laughs> sir the mayor was right those raiders are camped at an old army base. That's probably where they scavenged their weapons and vehicles. They lacked a disciplined and competent army unit. 
but not the fighting skill. Agreed. And we know there are former soldiers and mercenaries among their number. They may have been fellow soldiers once, but they're just a pack of dogs now. Let's put them down before they do any more to harm to the survivors. Captain Brenner, all units have been deployed, sir. Good. Still a sign of the enemy? No, sir. But this dust prevents us from seeing much of anything. Of course, it keeps us hidden, too, so I guess it's not all bad. My training was in reconnaissance and intelligence. Leave this to me. All units, move out. Scout unit Bravo reporting. Visibility is poor, and we lost visual contact with the enemy. I can hear something out there. I think you know we're here, sir. I understand, Bravo. Get somewhere safe. We're on our way. Watch the woods, sir. I think the raiders are hiding there. Okay, here we have Fog of War. Basically, Fog of War means, hence the name, Fog of War. We can't see anything except for what you either can see in its range, so... In this case, for example, this infantry has two vision. So as you can see, you can see within two spaces with vision. Now, of course, um, there are units that are hidden in Fog of War, so for example... You can't see these woods is because you know, it's Fog of War. And the only way to see it, who's actually there in the woods, is if we move a unit adjacent uh, to the woods, so... But, we do have another way to see the enemy, and that's with this unit. Their flare unit is ready to fire. Oh, we studied this, studied this at the Academy. Flares can help reveal enemy positions in poor visibility conditions. Smart kid. Maybe it'll be some help to us after all. Aim the flare anywhere you think the raiders may be hiding. This unit can be the key to our victory today. Okay, so this is a new unit, flares. Flares are designed for fog of war conditions. These rockets clear the fog and help you see, you know, help your forces see. So yes, very handy to have, especially in fog of war. Now it only has three shots, of, so that means only can you shoot three flares. Gotta make sure you're in where you want to see, so. <clears throat> Usually I'm able to save whatever I'm baking, but this time I wasn't able to. Oh. Alright, so our bitch is to wipe all the units. Simple enough. Alright, let's go over the tactics. Lynn? Uh, I mean, sir? Hello? Lynn, is that you? <laughs> Guess again, loser. Eep. Wait, what are you doing here? Give your tactical good advice. What does it look like I'm doing? You're giving me... Wait, is this a trick? Where's Lynn? <laughs> so you watch your mommy, huh? Well, tough beans. This, this is beast country, and no one knows it better than me, so listen up. <coughs> if there's one thing I love, it's ambushing little chumps like you. So don't move without thinking. Use your flares to see what's up ahead. And get foot soldiers into the mountains to give yourself a better view. Now do as I say. <laughs> I'm the beast. I love me a good tactics session. Later, little man. Okay, that was kind of weird. <laughs> weird is an understatement, Will. <coughs> get those foot soldiers into the mountains now. Into the mountains? Why? Do they teach basic recon tactics at the academy? Even tree and mech units can see further when stationed on mountains. Yeah, basically mountains also gives you increased vision range, so I'll put that one here. And look at that, we can see much better now. Still not enough, so let's use our flare here. Oh, hello. We got a bike and infantry mechanics. There. Oh, hello. I see you. Okay, 
not much I could do with the infantry, so let's put it... Uh, see here. Or not. Surprise, little man! The beast is coming out of his cave! Okay, this can happen too, so... In Fog of War, units can be forced to end their turn permanently if they encounter an enemy. So, like in this case, I can't move it now because... Make contact with this recon. So, yikes. All right, let's put it right here. No one attacks the beast in his own home. No one. Swarm roaches. Show no mercy. Yeah, we can't save this soldier, unfortunately. So he's dead. Scout unit Bravo has been hit. I'm trying to raise, trying to raise them on the radio. Bravo, do you read? Over. Scout unit Bravo reporting. We're taking heavy fire. We can't continue the mission. We have to retreat. I just to double time it back to base, soldier. Roger that, sir. Pay attention, Will. Remember that soldiers are a precious resource. We know there is risk in war, and some casualties are inevitable. So it's our duty to get as many of them home as possible. Okay. Oh yeah, flares can also attack as well. Forgot to mention that. Hey, Pro Gamer Plays, welcome to the stream. Hope you do well. What the fuck happened? I cleared up my panic room, the door slammed shut while I'm in there. Now I'm talk, walking to something like Mad Max. My ambush. Gah, they defeated me. This ain't happening. The world is over. Why do these do-gooders care what we do? I'm the beast. No one says no to me. Not even a bunch of soldier boys. I'll be back, losers, and I'm gonna kill every last one of you. That's right. I never miss a thing. <clears throat> Why continue my second gameplay to find Freddy's security breach tomorrow? When I get home from school tomorrow, I need to beat the game two more times because there's three endings and we finished one. Ah, I see. Well, wish you luck on trying to get those endings there, Pro Gamer. You did it! You drove off those savages! I don't think they'll bother you again. Thank you, Captain Burner. I think my village can sleep soundly tonight. I'm glad. Now let's talk about your side of the bargain. You drove them off. 
Now you provide need to provide Will and the other civilians with shelter. I didn't agree to that. What are you doing? We saved your village. You promised to take in the civilians. I said nothing of the sort, Captain. All I said that all I said was that if you scared off those savages, then I would consider it. Isn't that right, people? That's what I said. Your mayor is the man, is the man of his word. Yeah, that's right. That's what he said. I don't believe this. Captain, please, control yourself. Even you can see that this barking of yours affects my entire village. I may be the mayor, but I do not rule by... F I do not rule by fiat. We are civilized men, after all. We will could come to decision in due course. Until then, you must be patient. Why, oh, you double-crossed and... You have only yourself to blame for your anger, Captain. If you misunderstood my words, then the fault is yours alone. I have done nothing wrong. I see. Will you threaten us now? Will you let your guns take the place of your honor? Perhaps we should have taken our chances with the savages. No, Mayor. I won't threaten you. I won't do anything to unnerve these people that you pretend to care for. What? How dare you? I remember you. I remember how you were scared, alone, on the verge of death. Do you remember your words to me when my men gave you food and shelter? I will save others as you have saved me, Brenner. I will construct a village where, I, where all can live in peace and rebuild their lives. Do you remember that? Or did I misunderstand your words again? Who do you say such? You're a killer, a soldier, a relic of the past. I give these people peace. I give them hope. You give nothing but horror and death. Captain Brenner. Will? Sir, I know you have our best interests at heart, but it's okay. Look, I know it might be safer here in this village, but I don't want to stay. I want to serve with you, Captain. You and the battalion. Out of the question, Will. It's too dangerous. People who track with us don't live very long. You're young. Your life is ahead of you. Please, Captain. Please. Let me stay. Let me fight with you. Honestly, I don't seem to have much of a choice. And I admire your courage. Alright, Lynn. Will, prepare to move out. Good luck, Mayor. I think you'll need it. Hey, how's she doing? Oh, Will, thanks for coming again today. She's going to be very pleased. I hope so. Sometimes I... I just don't know where she even gets it, you know? She looks forward to your visits, Will. When you're here, she's bright and cheerful. Otherwise, she seems a bit... sad. Really? Really? But don't worry about it. We'll take care of her. She's going to be okay. Um, hi. How's it going today? I... I brought you something. I hope you like it. Flower? Yeah, well, it's not a real flower. It's plastic. You can't find many real flowers anymore. I found it while I was on a recon mission a few miles over. It's... it's beautiful. What do you call it? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I'm not much of a flower... scientist guy. Let me ask Lynn. <coughs> no, wait. I remember. This is a Catalia Isabella. It's a natural hybrid of the orchid family. Catalia. Yes, that's it. That will be my new name. I will be named after this beautiful flower you brought me. My name is Catalea. Uh, Catalea. Wow, that's... That's, uh... It's kind of hard to say, actually. How about we call you Isabella? That's really pretty. It fits you better. Isabella? Oh, I love it, Will. I'm so happy. Yeah? Oh, good. I think it suits you. Thank you, Will. Boy meets girl. Boy gives girl flower. Boy names girl. What's wrong with this world? 
Lieutenant! Um, what are you doing here? I've been here the whole time. Just keep an eye on you. <laughs> right. <clears throat> All right. Imagine waking up in a post-apocalyptic world, not knowing what happened the day before. Again, that would be horrible. Just having no memory of what happened, and just seeing the world destroyed like that. I don't know how you can recover from something like that. <clears throat> All right. Alright uh, guys, before we continue on real quick, I'm going to get a quick drink of water because I think my throat's going to need it, so I will be right back.
All right, I'm back, guys. <clears throat> All right, 20 likes, are we? Let's see. Hey, we are. Let's go. Hashtag 20 hype, guys. <clears throat> and also, I got my water with me, too, just in case. So I feel I'm going to need it. Uh, hey Flame, what's up? Yeah, I hope it... What's up Flame? Oh yes, so we're on our next chapter, chapter five. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, time for chapter five. New allies. We're here. There's still some buildings standing. Many of the people survived too. At first glance, the city seems extraordinarily well preserved. Alright. Spread out and look for survivors. Move slow and easy. I don't want anyone to mistake us for raiders. Hello! I say that you're there. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Are you hurt? Need assistance? Please, my good man. Not one step farther. Do you come in peace? I do. I'm Captain Brennan. I lead the 12th Battalion of the Rubino Army. You don't say. Why, that's simply marvelous. Welcome, Captain Brennan. Welcome. It is a great honor to have you here. Thank you. Who are you? My name is Dr. Morris. I was elected to speak for the free citizens of New Wolfton. Wolfington. Are you in charge here? <laughs> I guess you could say that. I told them I wasn't really the man for the job, but they chose me anyway. So we won't see any characters from PSG. No, this is no. It, this is a separate uh, universe. Yeah, you know, there's no references or mentions to the other um, events worth characters. This is like its own uh, universe. So, I used to be a resident, but now I'm a president. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just. So yeah, Dr. Morris, this is a recurring character we're going to see. But let's just say he's a good doctor, but his jokes are terrible. <laughs> hmm? Perhaps you didn't hear me correctly. I said that I used to be. I heard you. My unit is desperately in short supplies. Can you tell us spare food, medicine, or weapons? We will pay you however we can. Supplies, eh? Well, you see. Oh, uh ho! -huh. Yourself a 20 gun salute, eh, Brenner? Those were my men. I think we're under attack. This is actually make yourself scarce, dog. This could get ugly. Intel reports that the raiders have regrouped to attack this city. They're tenacious, I'll give them that. Stupid, but tenacious. Stupid can still cure you, Lin. Let's move out. That factory seems undamaged. Can we get up and running? Oh yes, it works. And that's a fact. Get it? Fact? Factory? <clears throat> Countless automated weapon factories were built during the Great War. But I'm sure you're more familiar with that than I am. If you have the materials, you can use them to produce units. I've heard of such factories, but never operated one. Oh, it's easy as pie. We just need someone to capture them. 
If you do so, we will turn control of the factory over to you and your men. We will also provide you with what few troops we have. That will help. Thank you. I assume I can leave the military decisions to you, Captain. I think that's for the best. But at the risk of sounding ungrateful, why are you doing this? This is no ordinary band of soldiers you command, Captain, am I right? Stories of Brenda's wolves have spread across this ruined land. This world is destroyed, yet you devote yourself to helping survivors. The people of New Wolverton saw fit to trust me. I hope I can trust you. I'll do all that I can. I'll get to safety. There isn't much time. I would strongly suggest that you move a foot soldier or bike to the factory. Once captured, its automated systems will produce, become fully operational. This will allow you to produce more units. Got it. Let's capture that factory. Alright. Oh, hey, Mr. Dill. You okay? I've seen the three dots there. Hope you're doing okay. It? Oh, okay. I hope it's nothing serious. Okay, um, so yes, here's the, so our, so yeah, factories. For those who don't know, factories is what we use to produce units. In this case, ground units. Now, in order to capture the, use the factory, we need to capture it. So how do we capture? So basically, we need to select either infantry, that be an infantry re uh, or merc mech here, or even a bike. So let's select this mech here. Infantry mech and bike units can capture factories and cities. All right, so capturing. So for capturing properties like this, um, as you can see, it has 20. You see, you see, it's hard to see, but there's a 20 number, which means uh, it has 20 uh, points. In this case. Um, mechs here, see, we have 10. So if we capture it here, see, the capture is underway. You can't capture a factory or city in a single day. You have to keep at it. Select capture again on the following day to finish the process. So yes, it takes two days to capture a property at full HP for either infantry or bike. So. <clears throat> DMs? Okay. Well, sorry I have it to you, Mr. Dill. I know how frustrating it can be, you know, I understand that. It's hard, but... but yeah, don't worry, man, we're here for you. We got you, man. Yeah, well, maybe we can help you cheer you up. So. <clears throat> well, the good news is I gained our inkling levels for 2-3, the bad news is I'm now in the funny number equal levels. Oh, I think I know which number you're at there, social. Um, don't know, Ichi Social. I think he's doing his own thing right now at the moment, so. Yeah. Okay. See, what was it? Oh, yes, very captures. All right, before we do that, let's go over the tactics. So our turn mission is to wipe out enemy units or capture the HQ, which is right here. All right, let's go over the tactics. 
Hmm. Let's see here. Captain Brenner. Hello, Will. I'm really looking forward to learning some great strategies from you, Captain. I'm sure you'll know how to deal with all those enemies. Yeah. Look, Will, I'll be honest with you. The thing is, I haven't decided on a strategy for this battle quite yet. I haven't decided? Don't worry. As long as there is hope, we will prevail. Um, if you say so, Captain. Alright, our first priority is to capture that factory and produce new units. You can use the terrain east of the factory to build a line of defense. We'll use tanks and artillery to take out enemies as they approach. Then we'll march under HQ. If units are damaged, they can recover in cities or join with other units. And watch out for the enemy artillery. Got it? Yes, sir, Captain. If we do that, we should be able to win. I think. Um, you don't sound very confident, Captain. Hmm. I'm not much for talking and speeches. That's more Lin's specialty. Never give up hope, right, Captain? Yes, Will. Well said. Never give up hope. Without hope, victory is impossible. Okay. Here, Alright. Alright, so for now we're going to build a defensive line. Right now we're a bit outnumbered right now. But luckily they don't have any factories to produce units, which we do, so... That's one advantage we have. <laughs> no one makes a fool of the beast and lives to tell about it. Swarm roaches, take what you can and leave no one alive. Alright, now let's capture the factory. The factory has been captured, now we can produce more units. Yes, although the kinds of units you can produce are limited at the moment. But I'm sure you'll take what you can get, eh? You can begin production the day after you capture a factory. Alright, production. We can use new funds to build new land, naval or air units, factories, ports, or airports. So. Now we capture the factory. Uh, oh. The city's been captured. Good. Restoring power to cities will boost your factory production. You see, factories use hard resources to generate a recalibrated... Whoa, wait, what? I'm sorry, I... I didn't understand a thing you just said. Uh, funds! Capture more cities, get more funds, build more things. Sometimes I'm a bit too clever for my own good. <laughs> oh yes, another thing, funds. Very important as well. As you can see on the right screen, we have 8,000 funds. And depending on the properties you acquire, depends on how much funds you get each day, so... In this case, we have seven properties, so that's 7,000 funds. So next turn, we will get gain 7,000 funds. Very handy. This unit is taking damage, but it can be repaired. Position damage unit on a friendly city or factory so it can recover. Be smart. Don't push your units too hard. So yes, if you get to get damaged, you can repair them on properties, but it does take away some of your funds if you do repair units. So. Did I mean to move them there? Aha! Success! Now I can produce units in this factory. Select the factory to see what units you can produce. Produce units, move the cursor to the factory with the control pad, or press A button, or just touch it with the stylus. Got it. So right now we can only produce infantry, mech, bike, recon, flare, tank, or artillery. 
We're gonna need tank. I mean, a lot of tank. Back into soldier. Ow. Ow. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, fine. Hey, that's my property. Hands off. My property. Hey, the Ashen Chevalier, welcome. Hope you do well. There's going to be a new Dead Island game coming out. I've been hearing some. I heard, I heard some mentions of. I saw some mentions about that. It's gonna be like Dead Island 3, is that what they're doing? Did I see you in this game ago? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I like this. I like the advanced swimming, especially this game. Uh, yes, there are two uh, Advanced Wars games for the DS, each is social. Advanced Wars Dual Strike, and then this one, Days of Ruin. Yep, that is correct.
Yeah, I'm surprised they get another fifth installment too. I mean, I would have liked it. I think they could do a more advanced wars games, you know? Again, this was back in 2008. Like, sucks if it was the last advanced wars game they made, but I think they could have made more. Yeah, they could have done like an advanced wars from 3DS. That would be cool. That's true, we do have the reboot camp, which only covers the first two advanced wars games, so. I mean, as much as I love the boot, you know, reboot camp, I, I've been hearing things about how that game kind of like got like some development issues and stuff, some behind the scenes, and you know what we got was not what we were really hoping for. At least, well, at least the Vance Wars fans were hoping for. But, but I mean, it was still it's an okay game still. But I just know that that game kind of had a bit of like some rough development and stuff. And also delays as well. A bunch of delays for that game too. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Here we go, we win. GG. No! Not again! Ah! The beast is invincible! Your road ends here, beast. Captain Runner, I'm afraid you'll have to return the units you produce. Automated units only function near the factory where they were made. Straight too far, and you'll be left with useless lumps of metal. Thanks, Doc. This is a huge help. S rank. All right. Now, where were we? Before all this, I worked as a medical researcher. My days were spent running small rats through large mazes. When the world was destroyed, I dug out of my ruined lab and made my way here. Hey, Sinjuku, welcome. How you doing, Sinjuku? Hope you're having a great night or day. There were so many sick and injured people. I just did what I could. We are allies, Dr. Morris. He saved us. But I'd even run them through maze. <laughs> uh, well, that's good for you, you know. You should try it sometime. Uh, huh? He's an amazing man, but his jokes are terrible. Dr. Morris, you remind me a bit of Captain Brenner. I was near death when he found me. He saved my life. It's good that there are still people like you and him in this world. Yes, but my sense of humor still works. Well, you should make me out to be some kind of hero, Will. I was a selfish man. I entered medicine to satisfy my curiosity, not help people. I never paid a see a patient before the meteor struck. I guess such situations teach you what really matters, eh, Captain? I know what you mean. Yes, exactly. But I fear we have other, more pressing issues to discuss. With your people and my people combined, we have several hundred mouths to feed. However, our supplies are running lower than the snake in the wheel rut. A sort of food is hardly a joking matter, Doctor. Huh? Did I make a joke? Anyway, I think I know how to solve our little reap problem, but I'll need your help. <clears throat> doing some homework, nice. Alright, I'm doing well. Alright, next chapter. Oh, we're already chapter 6 already. We're making good progress. Alright, chapter 6. Fear experiments. Tell me, my boy. Do you know what is... 
dinosaurs became extinct. Huh? No, but I bet Captain Bernard does. Not likely. Lynn, front and center. There are many poss possible explanations. I assume you're referring to the meteor theory. <laughs> right you are. The theory states that meteors struck the planet millions of years ago. The impact caused megas mega tsunamis upward of 300 feet in height to sweep the globe. Omega tsunamis upward of 300 feet to sweep the globe. The shockwaves sp spawn earthquakes reaching 12.0 and 13.0 on the richer scale. Pieces of the meteor ignited global wildfires, causing enormous devastation. Dinosaurs, without the benefit of fireproof surfboards, were equipped to survive. Fireproof surfboards? Whatever. The point is, most dinosaurs perished. One day they ruled the Earth, and the next, they were a few pages in our history books. But we survived our meteors. So we did, so we did. Cockroaches aren't nature's only durable creatures, are they? Three cheers for mankind, and for much smaller meteors, too. <laughs> Move this along, Doc. What is it you want to tell us? Yes, of course. Meteors, dinosaurs, cockroaches. Oh, yes, the clouds of ash. That's it. The ash blocks out the sun, which of course means that plant life withers and dies. Some say the fate of the dinosaurs was sealed by similar sunlight blocking clouds. So you're saying we're going to share their fate? Is that it? No need to panic, Captain. Unlike the luckless dinosaurs, we possess knowledge and science. If we can get the automated crop factory running, we'll have as much grain as we want. Automated what? A factory with an environmental system designed for the specific cultivation of genetically... Whoa, spare me the scientific mumble-jumble. You're giving me a headache. Cut to the chase. I'm telling you what I need to know. No jokes, no science. Clear? Yes, of course. <clears throat> if we can get the systems running, we could produce food. We won't be able to sustain a population of millions. But we will defeat New Wolfington. I trust that was clear enough? Oh, but there is one thing I worry about. What's that, Dr. Morris? Hmm, I wonder. Yes, let me ask you a question, young man. Do you believe in evil? The kind of evil that reveals, revels in the destruction of the world and of mankind with it? The kind of evil that thrives from the pain, suffering, and sorrow of innocence? Um, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm just thinking out loud. Maybe no mind at all. I've actually forgot what it was I asked you. <laughs> Status report, Lynn. I need to find units in the field, sir. They're ignoring our communications. They're advancing our positions. Move out. All right. <clears throat> this definitely looks different compared to the advance wars. Yeah, it definitely looks more realistic in a way compared to the cartoonish, you know, previous entries of Advance Wars, so. Yeah, let's just say this game is a bit more serious when it comes to, like, warfare and stuff compared to the previous entries, so. More of a serious, darker tone story in this game, so. Okay, so our objective is to wipe out enemy units. If we lose over these aren't units, so. Oh yeah, let's view our tactics, shall we? Oh, Will, come in. Captain Brenner? Can you give me any tips for the upcoming battle? Of course, I'd be glad to. Hold on one second. Lost! Where did I put those? Did you lose something, Captain? I'm gonna give you some notes for this tactics session, but I can't seem to find them. Aha! Here they are. No, wait. That's just a drawing of a tank I made when I was bored. <laughs> Uh, Captain, are you really getting all your strategy from Lynn? Maybe you should keep that a secret from the rest of the troop. She's a natural teacher, Will. I'm just not much for that kind of thing. Yes, here they are. Okay, let's see what she has to say. Captain, tell Will to quickly capture factories and cities. He needs to defend his foot soldiers and other units while they do so. The area southeast of the factory will make an ideal defensive perimeter. If the enemy swarms you, retreat to this area and regroup. 
I haven't built an anti-tech unit for the enemy's war tank. That's it. Is that all? Yes, that's... Oh, wait a second. P.S. Don't just read this to Will. Pretend you thought of it yourself. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, let's just keep this to ourselves, alright? <laughs> Will do. Uh, I love the tactic room. It's just so funny and stuff. Just don't be in this game. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Is it okay, Daddy? Of course, little one. Play to your heart's desire. Do remember to record the battle, though. I must know how each soldier fights and how each one dies. Father, I cannot condone this. I can see no reason for us to attack these people. It is meaningless. Meaningless? Whatever are you babbling about? Is there a more meaningless expenditure of energy than life itself? I think not. Get him! Get him! Boom! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, my throat. Ugh. Alright. Okay, first off, take care of this tank. Yeah, this game is is really good. <clears throat> All right. Oh, you're in range. I don't like that. Well, in that case, let's put you here. All right. Turn. Uh, I don't have enough mud fun to build tanks, so I'll have to save my money. Alright, I want you to get that property. Nice. Uh, well, I guess I'll build. I still managed to catch it. Go. 
Got him. All right, who's left? Oh, okay, just that recon. Okay. Uh. I guess I'll build one infantry, I guess. that recon in, so... Put you here. Now. There we go. Look at that. And there you go. Oh, what's wrong, pumpkin? Did these bad people blow up all your toys? I suppose you'd be wanting more. Well, what's the magic word? Please! I want big boom! How could I deny such a well-mannered little girl? I look forward to seeing how they respond to the world's mightiest tank. This should prove to be most enlightening. Look! Reinforcements and... Oh my gosh! That tank! It's enormous! Bring us the speed link. Here's what you have on that monster. I'm sorry, sir. Our database has no intel on that tank. That is a... War tank. A war tank? Compared with standard tanks, it has the fastest superior armor and firepower. It is currently the most powerful ground unit in the world today. And how are we supposed to stand against it? It's too darn big. I don't know. Yeah. Whew, this thing. Uh, good news and see my foster family on Saturday. Awesome. So yes, this is the new unit in this game, the War Tank. As you can see, it's the strongest tank in the game. Well, at least for ground units, it's the strongest. And also we got medium tanks as well, which is a upgraded version of um, the regular tank. But the war tank is the real threat here, so... So right now we got nothing that can take it out, so... I'd say we pull back for now. that kid says I want big boom. Yeah, she wants big boom. Oh! Isabella, what is it? What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm fine. The factory. Its systems have been updated. It cannot produce anti-tank units. What? She's right. The system just rebooted. Anti-tank units will provide to be proved to be very effective against the war tank. I think she may be right. Amazing. We may have a chance after all. Isabella, I want an explanation now. How in... Later, Lynn. We got a battle to fight. Anti-tank units, huh? Let's see how much tough... Let's see how tough that war tank really is. Yes. Alright. This as you mentioned, we have a new unit we can produce. The anti-tank. Now this thing is a beast against tanks. Like, really good. So we're gonna need to produce these ASAP. Because right now, we stand no chance against these tanks. So we need all the firepower we need in defense. Let's put just 
tanked, I think. Because we're going to get a lot of these. Let's see this in action. Oh, look at that. Mm. Very powerful. Again. Nice. Alright, all that's left now is <laughs> the war tank itself. Oh boy, so we're gonna have to get ready because when it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit hard. That's so. gonna our anti tank. Yeah, that's instant death right there. <laughs> but that's fine, because you went into my range of fire. And fire! Yes! Got it. That's it. All the units have been defeated. We won. It wasn't a walk in the park, but you're right. We've won. It was all thanks to Isabella. It had been for her. No, I didn't do anything. Don't be modest, dear. Now let's check on those crop growing systems. S rank. I'll take that. Ooh, almost barely got an S rank. Ooh. Now if we could just find that factory. Oh, uh, so I wasn't saying anything. I was lurking in Discord. No worries, Cliff. What's the word, Doc? You and Liv get that system once over? Yes, well, hmm. I got some good news and I got some bad news. The system's useless. The factory's been destroyed. What are you doing, Lynn? I had a joke I wanted to tell first. Save your jokes for when I'm not around. What do you mean, destroyed? Do you mean we can't repair it? That would be quite difficult, I'm afraid. The factory was extremely sophisticated. The components needed to repair it are not likely to be found at the corner grocery. Not that we have one anymore. <laughs> oh, you're not laughing. That's terrible, Dr. Morris. What are we supposed to do now? I'm afraid that I don't know. And tell the truth, there's something else that truly disturbs me. There is? What? It appears the enemy's goal was to destroy the factory all along. If we had gotten the factory up and running, we could have solved our food shortage problem. We could have lived here peacefully. What did they gain by destroying the factory? It's as if... It's as if they wanted us all to die. <clears throat> Can I go Super Saiyan? Look deep in your heart and you'll see the answer. Hmm. Maybe I could. Uh, eat so much popcorn, his hair turns yellow and grows long and spiky. <laughs> That's the power of my saying. Just eating popcorn. <laughs> wow, look at this. Flowers. They're quite beautiful, aren't they? But there's something odd about them. Whatever you do, don't touch those flowers. Dr. Morris? <clears throat> Pardon me, Lynn, but I must ask you a personal question. Are you over 20 years of age? Maybe. I'm not as young as Isabella, but... Are you implying something, Doctor? No, of course not. There's no need to glare at me so. It's quite unsettling. 
I only ask because these flowers have yet to infect anyone over the age of 20 and... Infect? What are you talking about? Have you heard of the... Endoflorensis terribilis virus? Its common, its common name is Creeping Durangia. Durangia. Oh, jeez. Oh, look at that. How pretty. This young man was about your age, Will. He was my age? The flowers are decorative. The result of a parasitic virus. And there's nothing beautiful about him, Lynn. This boy is dead. Wait, so the flowers came out of his body? It acts like a parasite. But it spreads like a virus. I don't claim to know how it works. I just know that it does. Since the meteors fell, I buried many victims of this scourge. He had roots and leaves growing under his skin? In his ears? In his eyes? Little roots creeping behind his eyes. What if he could hear them? Lynn, please, stop talking about it. Curiously, the virus seems only to affect young people. You are in the right age, right age, Will. Uh, right age with range, Will. Which means you're at risk. If you mean anyone's suffering from this, you must stay away. Is that clear? Oh, yeah, it's clear. Starvation, raiders, and flowers that kill you. Gotta love this place. The world's certainly not making it easy for us, is it? But we can't give up. As long as there's life, there's hope. Exactly. Oops. Right. Okay. Just like Goku, you surpassed Vegeta. <laughs> Alright. Time for... Oh, I read that. Just like Goku used to pass Vegeta. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Okay. I went live for it. Oh, two hours and 35 minutes. Alright, so far so good. Alright, onward to chapter 7. A kind of home. So we had a snag in our supply procurement plan. Got any suggestions what we do now, Doc? Oh, yes. Um, no. No, I don't. We're in trouble. No doubt about it. Are there any other factories with the, with the systems we need? No, not to my knowledge. Automatic crop factories. Do you know something, Isabella? Yes, I do. What is it? You're absolutely certain about this? Yes. This is no joking matter, young lady. I, I can't believe I just said that. You're saying you know the location of the factory? Is that correct? Yes. It's located at altitude 25... Point three four five degrees north and longitude one three one point zero three zero three five degrees west. Oh, um, well, as long as you're sure. That's in the Sorrento Mountain Range. There's an underground nuclear shelter at the coordinates I just given you. It contains a subterranean farm and small-scale factory capable of feeding a thousand people. Do you really expect us to believe that? I never heard of such a place. Nor have I. It was constructed for Ruinel's senior cabinet ministers and captains of industry. In the event of an all-out nuclear war, they were able to live in the shelter for decades. Its existence is not known to the general public. Access requires a grade 4 security clearance. Oh, now we know. You must be the president's secret daughter. <laughs> the 
construction contract for the shelter was awarded for the to a private military firm, IDS. 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 ID. What is it, Isabella? What's wrong? I'm sorry. It's my head. It's pounding so hard. I can't think. Captain Brenner, I'll take care of Isabella. You do that, Will. That girl may be a complete mystery, but I feel strangely confident she's not lying. Perhaps those coins will lead us to the answer to our dilemma, hmm? Could be, Doc. It's worth checking out, that's for sure. Captain, sir, one of our recon units was just pulled in. It's reporting a firefight in progress. There's a lone unit running for its life. It's a Rubino unit, sir. Do you not follow me, Weakling? No weekly like you surpass me. Oh yeah? We'll see. Would somebody tell me why these Azurians are up in my business? Do you not see the meteors? The floods, the fires, the dead people? They act like there's still a damn war going on and Hey, who are you? This is Captain Burner of the twelfth battalion. Aw oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Calvary arrives. Name and rank, soldier. Where's the rest of your company? Name and rank? Listen up, brother man. That's all ancient history. I ain't heard a peep from the big brass since Sky fell in. How about you? Nothing, right? Yeah, I thought so. You're right. We've been operating on our own. It seems Rubinell's government has gone for good. Cheer up, brother. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The name's Wayland. All right, Captain Wayland, the 13 Airborne. <laughs> Line up, will ya? We're survivors. We're like lottery winners. Ain't much left of the old world. The least we can do is enjoy the new one. Captain, the enemy has spotted us as moving to a gauge. Understood. Get him ready, Lynn. Attention all units. The yellow fighter is a friendly. Do not, repeat, do not use it for target practice. I can't kind of love you, baby. I owe you one. Okay, so, oh, as you can see, oh, we got air units now, so. Unfortunately, we only have one air unit, and that's the Battlecopter. Whereas the enemy has bombers, fighters, and also a new unit, the Duster. The Duster is a light aircraft, but it, it can attack both ground air units, so. As you can see, it has a lot of movement too, as well. So it's kind of like the recon, in a way. Very fast, very nimble. Not very powerful, but it's still very helpful. So. And of course, bombers are the deadliest because they can easily take down ground units no problem. And of course, fighters, you know, hence the name fighters, go against air units. So. All right. So our objective for this mission is to wipe out units or capture HQ. And we do have one ally here, um, Waylon here, but he's not going to move, he's going to stay in this spot, so we got to protect him, so. Alright, let's go review the tactics. Welcome back to the war room. Today we have a special guest. <laughs> At last, it's my chance to share some pearls of wisdom with you. But first, let me turn you with some of my trademark wit. That's not necessary. Can we just hear your technical analysis? So, a priest, a Lazurian, and a chicken walk into... Wait, that's not it. Oh, right, a chicken and Lazurian are crossing the road. Fine, I'll do it myself. If any planes attack, strike back with anti-units and missiles. Keep other units nearby to defend them from ground-based attacks. Once you're settled, head for the enemy HQ, taking cities as you go. That rocket could be trouble. Use multiple units to take it out. Oh, now I remember. It wasn't a chicken at all. It was a pony. Dr. Morris, we will pursue the issue of the pony another time. Understood? Honestly, where's your sense of humor? It was shot off in the war. Very sad. Thanks for listening, everyone. Come back again if you need more tips. <laughs>
Okay, so yeah, we have a new anti uh, direct unit. This is the missile. As you can see, missiles has long range, and they're very effective against air units. So, we just select here, fire. Well, it's not technically a sequel, Cliff. It's its own thing. It's not connected to the other Advanced Wars games. It's its own thing. <clears throat> oh, yes, and here we have the anti air. Now, anti air is, as you can see, is very effective against air units, but also very effective against infantry as well. And H1, we got in the chat. Welcome. How you doing? Yeah, I hope it's your one. Ah, I'll save my money. More rude forces. My prayers have been answered. Rejoice, brothers and sisters of Lazuria. Our enemy is before us. In the names of our ancestors, let us sow the soil with their bones. Oh god, that bomb throws me. Oh, that fighter is gonna be a problem too. Alright, let's go tank. You're in range. Perfect. Excellent. Ha. Now, if I could lure the bomber, that'd be perfect. Oh, I know. Yeah, there we go. Use my recon. To lure them in. That should work. Duster. Goodbye, Recon. That's fine. It's all part of the plan. We got two dusters and a fighter and a bomber. Pulling back. Smart. Okay. Oh, yeah, so there's no unit. The rockets. As you can see, the range is way more. A bit longer than the artillery, so.
What if I lure you with my tail? You attack that. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> Range. There we go. Okay. Now. How's this bit put the bomb at range? These fighters bomb are good. Really, you're not moving your bomb? If we're not going to move, I'll move myself. Alright, I'll vote this is Duster. And there we go, we got him. Easy win. Gah! Those roots may have won the day. We shall fight again. Retreat! S rank! Drove them away for now. Thanks, GGG. The other's been routed. Will, I want you to make sure the wounded are taken care of. Yes, sir. Thanks for the assist, brother. 
Who's the right? You got yourself some sort of cabin boy? Cabin boy? He's one of us. We've been patrolling the region looking for survivors who might need our help. Help its survivors? Help yourself to the money, I hope. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Of course. Be more effective with air support, though. Why don't we join forces then? Time out, Captain Courageous. You want Waylon to join forces with you? Listen to me now. I think you're a good man. I'm gonna give you a stand ovation. Clap, clap. But you think I'm going to do charity work? You need to think again. I didn't survive the meters just to risk myself for a bunch of chumps. What the hell are you babbling about? Are you truly so blind, Brenner? There is no more central command. No orders, no missions. I do what I want. Got it? No, I don't think I do, and you've got it wrong. The world's been broken. But that doesn't mean you're free to do whatever you want. The ties that bind people together can be reestablished. We have to do that. And why would I want to do that? You want to clip my wings, brother? That it? I won't live in a cage. You can do what you want, but just leave me be. By the way, you know a fat cat named Greyfield? Ammo Greyfield? Yes, I served under him for a while. What about him? He set out shop in the capital. Word is he wants all survivor Rubinel's soldiers to come join him. He wants to start what he's calling the New Rubinel Army. Creative genius, ain't he? he ain't. Now, I ain't hip on taking orders, but I would make a pretty penny as a mercenary. I have all the food I could eat, and the ladies love a man in uniform. You know what I'm saying? There's no counting for taste. Aw, that's just cold, brother man. Ain't no call for that. Looks like you and I ain't gonna be friends. And with that, the sky calls. Good luck with the charity work. Wait a minute. What about your wounded? What's done is done. Wounded ain't dead, is it? Like a place to go, things to do. If you like playing nursemaid, go right ahead. You ban your own men? You think you can guilt trip me? You got another thing coming, brother man. My only responsibility is surviving to eat, drink, and be merry another day. Is that so? Uh-huh. No one's probably is going to get you, Brennan. A broken heart and an early grave. Damn. So selfish. <laughs> you serious? <laughs> oh, yes, that meme. Are you letting him go, sir? We can't force him to stay. We can't force him to care. Is that guy really a soldier? He's nothing like you, Captain. He's nothing like any of us. Soldiers are people, Will. You have to take the good with the bad. Each of us has to choose how to make it in this world, and Will has made his choice. Try not to bother you. You located and extracted Wayland's downed air unit. Its men are resting comfortably, sir. We also found some airports. Perhaps the men can be convinced to join us. What do they want? Have you heard any talk about them rejoining their captain? Not a peep, sir. Apparently, they want nothing more to do with him. It seems he used them poorly, risking their lives for nothing more than his own amusement. Damn, what an asshole. I can't believe him. Let Wayland's men know they're free to join us if they wish. Now let's head out for that nuclear shelter. It may give us reason to, for hope to another day. Or a better day. <clears throat> Man. <sighs> Alright, so before we start, you guys may have noticed these maps. Now these maps are not part of the campaign. They're more like trial maps, you could say. Basically, these maps um, either is randomly chosen. Um, so, basically, these maps you either control um, a random uh, commander or no commanders at all. Basically, so so this is more like a side thing. If you just want to like do some extra fun, just to you know complete these maps. It's not required to 100% the game, but if you want to do it for fun, you know, try and get the best rank, then, you know, you can go for that. But it's not necessary to actually do these maps here, so... Alright.
Okay, onward. Chapter 8. Chapter 8, A New Threat. Ooh. Ah, meanwhile, at the Raiders' base camp. Ah, the beast is hurting. I need medicine. What are you waiting for, roaches? Swore and plunder. I don't come back without something to ease my pain. Um, it's not that easy. We're low on fuel and ammo. And most of our weapons were destroyed in the last battle, so... You're this close to dying, boy. Whatever you need, you steal. Understood? Yes, sir. My leg's on fire. I can't believe those soldier boys hit me. Ugh. Gotta kill this infection and kill me some gaunt faced do gooders. Oh, god damn it. Do you truly harbor such hatred for Captain Brenner? Hey! Where'd you come from, you freaking ghost? My dear sergeant. Wait, you have no name now, do you? You're just the beast. How appropriate. Your pro propensity for violence saw you expelled from the military, yes? In these past few years, you spent each day slacking your thirst for blood and mayhem. But how did you... All in good time, my friend. When the meteors came, you knew just what to do, didn't you? You stole weapons and access codes, and then began plundering whatever you could find. For most, the world was a living hell. But for a man like you, it was paradise. At least until Captain Brenner as Good Samaritans arrived. Ah, I hate him. He's ruined everything. When I find him, I'm gonna rip. You will have your vengeance. I will provide you with supplies and weapons. You desire chaos and destruction, yes? I shall see you are equipped to sate that hot desire. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. This is the quickest route to Sierra to Mountain Range. So we'll be passing by Free Haven again, will we? I doubt they'll be happy to see us, but we should check to see if our people are safe. Or we should I speak out of turn, sir, but I believe you're too forgiven. How can you be so concerned with their for their welfare after the way, way their mayor behaved? That doesn't mean we can abandon them. Doesn't it? They insulted you, sir. I, for one, couldn't care less if they were wiped from the earth. That's enough of that, Lynn. Captain Brenner. What is it, Will? Are we under attack again? Huh? No, it's those villagers. Remember the ones you met before? They say they want to speak with you, sir. Is that so? Oh, it's the mayor guy again. So this last quake destroyed the remaining buildings, leaving us without food or shelter. We can't survive without assistance. What has this got to do with me? Please, Brenner. Captain. We need your help. You have my apologies for any past. Understood. Pack your things. You're coming with us. If we can locate that factory, there should be enough food for everyone. Factory? That's right. If we need details, find Dr. Morris. I deal in weapons, not test tubes. All I can tell you is it's key to gain the food we need to survive. Clear? Yes, of course. You have my gratitude. Speaking of food, my people have been eating in days. May I ask? If we'll feed you, ask away. Alright, we're running short ourselves, but I'll see to it. If someone hasn't eaten for days, you look pretty well fed to me. Well, I beg your pardon? I'm rather curious as to what your villagers are carrying in all those trucks. You wouldn't have it to be provisions, would it? No, it's merely... How dare you! Are you implying that I'm lying? I said no such thing. I merely were in fear from your robust condition that you've been eating. Enough! You, you uppity. Attack! We're under attack! Gather your people and take cover in the rear. We'll continue this later if we survive. It's that same group of raiders. How is it they're still operating? And they're using this poor visibility to cover their attack. Someone must be helping them. All units, advance. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, mark that pillar of fire. See how it illuminates the surrounding area? 
Looks like there's an enemy infantry unit on the other side of the river. And there are factories there, too. We need to capture them ASAP. Let's use our transport helicopters to tra airlift some infantry up there. Okay, so now we got transport units. So we got T-copters, uh, landers, cruisers, APCs. See those units on top screen? Those are the units that can deploy units, so. So for example, we can transport infantry. Infantry and mechs can be loaded into transport copters. This is the easiest and fastest way to transport troops over long distances. So for transports, these here, we can load one infantry. But if the transport copter is destroyed, it destroys both the transport and the infantry in it. So, gotta be careful with that. Oh yes, before we do that, let's go over our mission parents. I have one unit, so catch your HQs, same basic principle. Alright, tactics time, what do we get? You know, Will, you should be grateful that I'm such a nice instructor. Oh. Mm-hmm. When I was in Rubino Military Academy, I had very strict instructors. If you missed a question, they have you doing push-ups and running laps. You're practically on vacation in comparison. Wow. Well, thanks for being so nice. Once I forgot how many ball bearings are in a tank tread and my instructor screamed at me. Not nice screaming either. Nasty stuff. Things you're far too young to hear. Okay, now I'm scared. <laughs> Don't go somewhere across the bridge. Let the enemy come to you. Build some of the indirect unit attack units to weaken them as they approach. Use transport copters to move soldiers into distant cities and factories. They focus on producing additional tanks and indirect attack units. Once your force is ready, move east as a group and engage the enemy. Understood. Now give me a thousand push-ups. Uh, okay. One. Two. Three. Ow, ow, ow. F -f Four. Well, you can stop. I was kidding. Huh? Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, I knew that. <laughs> sure. Stop by again if you want more tips. Or exercise. <laughs> mm. Alright. <sighs> Alright. Move them out and drop them off. Make sure you find someplace safe. Alright. Put it here. Have capture factory themselves, so. <laughs> they happen to see us, roaches. Let's bury. Ugh. Ugh, my head. It's so dizzy. It must be the medicine that freak gave me. But it feels good. My blood's on fire. The rage is burning me up. Yes! I am reborn. The beast will not be denied. Ugh. The beast will hunt. Prepare to die. Oh boy. Catch assessment completed. This improves visibility in the area near the base, giving us an advantage. So basically, Fog of War, we catch some more bases, the more visibility we can see. So.
Ah, let's get in our tank. Nope. Or I guess I'll get anti here. Okay. <laughs> How dark is this really? Uh, oh, I guess you like how dark is this this game? Uh, it is a bit dark, shall we say? I mean, compared, like I said, compared to the other Advance Wars games, it's not really dark moments. I mean, it's more like cartoony colored, you know, with the first three games. But this one's more like realistic. You know, kind of setting. Yeah, don't worry. We'll see more of this dark stuff talk about later. So. How can war be dark? War is fun. <laughs> yeah, he would think it was fun. <laughs> No, no, no property for you.
Oh, crap. Oh, it's not a tank. <laughs> oh boy. Tanks here. Oh, three hours? No, we're at three hours. Anyone still lurking in chat? Just wondering. Still here? Okay. Just wonder, just wonder if we're still here. Cause, you know, since we got 10 watch in, so. Just wondering. That's all. Oh, crap. Oh, you know, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a missile unit, but no. Base. And there we go. No, must escape. But it's just a taste, losers. Now that I've got a weapon supplier, I'll be making your lives miserable. Sleep lightly, soldier boy. The beast rules the night. <coughs> All my units have been accounted for. The f this battle's over. Somebody tell me where those raiders got all that firepower. I can't understand it, sir. They destroyed everything they had. Captain, the raiders' leader managed to get away. Looks like he hid in the pile of corpses and then snuck off when it was safe. That doesn't bode well. I'm sure we'll see his ugly face again. But we got our own goal to reach. Let's move out. s ray There, Autumn? Okay. That went well just as I planned. Alright. <clears throat> oh, I. What's. Uh... Isabella? Is something wrong? Are you feeling alright? I, I, I don't know. Isabella! Talk to me! What is it? So dizzy, my head. Nine six nine three eight seven two nine one four. Nine six nine three eight seven two nine one four. I feel funny. 
Wait a minute. This young man was a victim of the plant. He was about your age, Will. Curiously, the virus seems to affect only young people. You are in the right age range, Will, which means you're at risk. If you meet anyone suffering from this, you must stay away. Is that clear? No, it can't be. Will? I'm going to get Dr. Morris. Wait here, Isabella. Please, don't leave. I saw the commotion over here. Oh no. Get the doc over here, on the double! Captain Burner. Judging from the symptoms, there's a good chance Isabella's infected with the creeping Duringia. The plant virus? Yes, I placed her in quarantine in a temporary laboratory. She must stay there for now. There's no danger of us getting sick, but young people like Will are at risk. What are you doing for her? How long till she's cured? What was about right about you, Captain? You truly are a caring man. But to have any hope of curing her, I would acquire highly sophisticated equipment and facilities. Or highly specialized equipment and facilities. You got what you got, Doc. Do your best. If I may, Captain, I have a thought. Go ahead. The shelter the girl told us about, if it truly does exist, perhaps it contains the medical equipment Dr. Morris requires. You may be onto something there. A shelter like that would be completely airtight, which means an infectious disease would spread like wildfire. Yes, they must have considered it. It's very possible they would have a contingency plan for a situation such as this. I see. Good work, you two. As long as there's a chance, we keep moving. Will? What are you doing out here all alone? Nothing, I'm just... I know you're worried about Isabella. That's a normal reaction. But listen, I don't want you to lose hope. As long as there's life. I ran away. I... I ran away from her. What are you talking about? When I knew... When I knew Isabella was sick, I didn't go to her. I didn't want to get sick too. I was only thinking about myself. She was really scared, you know. I could see it in her eyes. She wanted me to help her, but I ran away. You did the right thing, Will. If you've gone to her, you come into contact with her, you'd be in quarantine too. But you would have stayed with her, Captain. You help people. That's what you do. You're committed. You're not like me. I spent more time running than you ever know, kid. Hell, I'm still running. What do you mean? All the people I couldn't help. All the soldiers who died because I wasn't good enough. I spent many a sleepless night telling myself it couldn't be helped. That I did all I could. That's just the sound of me running, Will. Running from a past I'll never escape. Oh. You disappointed? I was hoping I could protect the illusion for you. No matter how I grieve or regret my actions, the men who have died because of me will still be dead. But Isabella is still alive. You got nothing to regret. There's plenty of you there's plenty you can still do, right? For her? Sir. Yes, sir. Just remember, Will, where there's life, there's hope. Okay. Okay, guys. Chapter 9. Let's go. The Beast. Brother, I need to talk with you. Is it true that the girl traveling with you is sick? Yes, it's true. There's nothing we need to worry about, though. The virus only affects people under a certain age. No one in your group is in danger. That's not the point. Sickness and disease makes people nervous. I nervous people panic. We can't have that. You've got to get rid of her. We can't afford the risk. I think you need to stop talking now. We're in this together. All of us. Is that clear? No, it's not. Would you put us all in danger to protect one girl? We don't know who she is or where she came from. She has to go, brother. 
Listen carefully, because I'm only going to say this once. No one gets left behind. Not you, nor your people. Not Will, and not Isabella. If you have a problem with that, you're free to leave whatever you want. You, you fool! You're too soft, Brenner. If this goes wrong, and it's on your head. Why would you personally responsible? God damn it. Let's just, I'll just say this right now, guys. You're gonna hate the mayor character. I do not like him. And you'll learn to hate him, too. How's this about Isabella doing, Dr. Morris? You're going to worry no matter what I tell you. So here's the truth. It's not good, Will. She needs medicine, and she needs it now. Can I see her? Absolutely not. We've had this conversation before. Oh, we got a raid coming in from Aaron Gaming. Yo. Where is Aaron? Aaron, you there, buddy? Thank you for the right, Aaron. Hope you're streaming it well. Hey, there you are. Hey, Aaron Gaming. Thank you for the raid. Hope you're streaming it well. What were you doing? And if any mods in chat, if you're still a mod, can you guys get Aaron's channel link? But thanks again for the raid, Aaron. Hope your stream went well. <clears throat> uh, Retro Knight. So it's playing Harvest Moon Tree of Tranquility. Ooh. Harvest Moon game. Cool. Uh I want to do the link, so I'll have to do it myself. Here we go. I'll get your channel link here, Aaron, here. Alright, guys, there's a link to Aaron Gaming. And this guy to Aaron, there's the link. This virus is most dangerous to people of your age. I won't allow you to see her. But Dr. M oh, excuse me. <clears throat> but Dr. Morris, I... Once we get to the shelter, there's a good chance I'll be able to treat her. But until you have... But until then, you have to stay away. You don't want to get sick too, do, do you? I don't care. What would it matter anyway? If I don't see her now, I may never get a chance to apologize. So please... Your apology can wait, boy. I'm more concerned with her well-being, and you should be too. What's that supposed to mean? I don't wish to betray Dr. Patient Confidelli, but I have spoken to her. What's troubling her most is the fear that she's become a burden to us. She thinks it would have been better if she had died before you found her. How could she think that? But she hasn't given up hope. She's never even complains about the pain. The other creeper patients I treated have all begged me to end their suffering. But Isabella has chosen to live, and do you know why? It's because she owes that life to you. She believes that if she refuses to give up, we'll find a way to cure her. Her first memory is of you telling her that she was going to be alright. 
She trusts you implicitly, the way a newly hatched chick trusts its mother. She believes everything you told her about having hope. I suggest you believe it too. You're right. I'm so sorry, Dr. Morris. Thank you. No need to apologize. I can't allow you to see her, but... Oh, yes, you could try speaking to her through the door. Really? Would that be okay? Certainly. Just for a little while, though. I'm too tired to continue tonight, but trade my chickens for a cow. Uh, I have... You got an incubating egg, though. Hey, cow, this porn too. You know, gotta get that milk. This route leads directly into the foothills of the Sorrento mountain range. However, recon reports those raiders are back and are blocking the way. Set an ambush, how they? Seems they really are hell-bent on revenge. We're going to have to finish this once and for all. Advance! Come here, Captain Brenner. Dr. Moore is here, and I got great news. This airport we found is in fine working condition. We can produce new air units whenever you need them. Roger that, Doc. Air support will be welcome. Alright, now we can build air units. Finally. And as you can see, we have got to fight these guys again. I do to get through with summer though, so let's do in this month. Nearly a month of prep work. Oof. Alright, so we have a new unit here the rig. Rigs can be used to build temporary airports. That looks like a good spot. Move there, commence construction. Alright, so this new unit, rigs. Or like APCs in a way, so. Rigs and resupply units in adjacent squares, transport troops, and build a single temporary port or airport. So if we go here, build. There we go, temporary airport. Good. The rig crew has gotten started. Select build on your next turn to continue construction. That's right. Keep building. We got to do all. We, we've all got to do our part. All right. Rigs can build temporary airports and planes, temporary ports on beaches. As of capturing construction requires 20 HP, so it takes two turns. With fighters, you can take on other air units. When it comes to air combat, fighters are second to none. Now let's take out the enemy's air units. This unit must be... It's a duster. It can attack ground units as well as other air units. It's not as powerful as a fighter or a bomber, but it's good to have nonetheless. Right, I studied them in the academy. They're an expensive and versatile. Good memory, Will. I used them to attack those nearby ground units. Can't even counterattack, which is awesome. Although we gotta do worry about this anti-air and missile units. Those are the only effects for our air units right now. So. Speaking of which, let's go over tactics. Come on, Will. This one's a cakewalk. You shouldn't need my help. I'm disappointed in you. I'm not Will. You're Captain Brenner? Sir, I'm sorry, sir. I spoke out of turn. I just wanted to encourage Will, sir. There are no easy battles, sir. Not even the easy ones. Sorry, sir. Hey, you never apologized to me. Stuff it, soldier. See? <laughs> yes, at any rate, the stage lacks factories. Guard your infantry units carefully, or you won't be able to capture cities. Use fighters and dust to strike the air enemy early and often and strike his anti-air and missile units as soon as you can. Bombers work well for this purpose, especially against missiles. A solid strategy, Lin. Thank you, Captain. My pleasure. She never tells me it's her pleasure. Stop that grumbling, soldier. I hope my tits help you win the day, sir. Oh, 
Well, they will. Bombers, you can attack ground and naval units. Bombers are very powerful and can take even out tanks one strike. Utilize your bombers to attack the enemy's ground units. Well, that Bombs away! Meow. these comforts and tanks come from on oh, my head wait it's soldier boy time for the beast to hunt Arrgh. I guess possess turns into Majin Coke. <laughs> oh no, Majin. Oh no. And there we go. Excellent work. The temporary airport is open for business. Temporary airports allow areas to be refilled and repaired. Looks like the rigs run out of building materials. So yes, rigs can only build them once, so they can only build a temporary airport or seaport only once, and that's it, so. <laughs> About time you showed your ugly mugs. Why are you doing this? Get out of our way, we have to save Isabella. It's a what's a? You think I care what you're doing? I want blood. You may have tanks and guns and manager command, but you're not a soldier. You're nothing but a murderer. <laughs> murderer? Me? And you're a snot nosed punk. I. War is murder. You hear me? Soldiers are trained to kill. <coughs> That's bad if you're learning, punk. Your textbooks, your textbooks teach you that? Huh? You want to learn about war? Fight by me. The beast will teach you good.
Gotta go? Okay, see you to social. There, no more anti air threats. Good.
Ah, you dead punk. The beast will destroy. Destroy. I'm coming for you. No, my head. Ah. Alright guys, um, we'll get you one, I'll be right back real quick, so, BRB.
All right, I'm back, guys. I got some more water. <clears throat> Nothing's happened. Nothing to report. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, howdy, Cam Dog. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Now, let's investigate the shelter. This is it. These are the coordinates Isabella gave us. <laughs> there really is a shelter here. What did I tell you, folks? That girl hasn't got a lime bone in her body. Knew it right from the start. All we need now is to wait to open the security doors. Ideas, anyone? Welcome to Fortress. Enter access code. The access code is a standard military issue, but I don't have the proper security clearance. Captain, do you think your clearance is high enough? I doubt it, but we got to try. I'm only, I'm only a captain, but here goes. Code number 08481243901390. Allegation error. Access denied. You have one chance remaining to enter a valid code. Damn. Guess the politicals never plan on letting grunts into their private club. Looks like I should have taken those promotions when I had the chance. More importantly, Captain, we only have one chance remaining. I think we're done. No! Don't say that! We've come so far. There must be something we can do. We have to get inside. We have to. Otherwise, Isabella will... She'll... We need someone with the right clearance, but... I don't see your generals or high-ranking government officials in the area, Doctor. But you happen to see the President's courts on the way here. Perhaps he's carrying the code. That's morbid, Lieutenant. And decidedly unhelpful. Truth be told, we don't have time to go looking for the code. It's not sophisticated, but how about starting at 0000000000 and working our way up? Now who's being unhelpful? We only have one chance left. I'm really offering suggestions. There's no need to be afraid of me, so. I'm really stating the facts. And the fact is, we have no chance of guessing the correct yet access code. We have one more try to get a 10 digit code correct. The odds of guessing it right are almost zero. We're talking a probability of 1 in a 10 billion. Now, this was just a story, and I was the hero. Something miraculous would happen. I'd rather try and fail than just walk away. You want to have a favorite 10 digit number? 10 digits. Wait a second. What is it, Will? 96938729149. That's 10 numbers, right? Don't tell me you actually have a favorite 10 digit number. Um. Not exactly, no. I just have a feeling. I think that may get us inside. Well, what do we got to lose? Go ahead, Will. Right. Thanks, welcome back. Welcome to Fortress. Enter access code. Please let this work. 96938729144. Identification accepted. Security locks disengaging. Well, what in the world? You did it, Will. I don't know what to say. Are you some, some idiot servant? Oh, wait. Perhaps you are the president's secret child. <laughs> what? No, that's not it. It's the number Isabella was whispering. What are you talking about? She's been saying it randomly ever since she remembered the shelter was here. In fact, she said it again just before she got sick. Once again, it's Isabella to the rescue. I feel like we have our own guardian angel. Do you think she's really is the daughter of some high-ranking official? That's one explanation I would be comfortable with. Well, in any case, we're in. And that's something to celebrate, my friends. 
Now that we're in, we should be able to find the machinery and medicine we need. I'll go back down and get Isabella. No, you won't. You're not allowed to have any contact with the patient, remember? I'll take extra care of Isabella. You'll give me the chance to tell the mayor that we're inside. Take some of the men with you. There's no sign of hostiles, but we can't let our guard down. I'll take charge of recon reco reconnoitering the shelter. Will, you're with me. Yes, sir. Okay. Now you see me, now you don't. Hey, guys. Hey, James. I see you. <laughs> How you doing? Ah, see, I am man enough. Haha. -ha. I am. Alright guys, time to begin the end of let's just say this is the this chapter is the end of the first act of the game. There's several acts in this story, so this is chapter ten, the this is chapter ten, the end of act one of the story, so <sighs> All right, let's begin. Oh, she's going well. All right, chapter 10. Almost home. Tights 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Since so it enters the password to my computer, I scan those pictures of popcorn and pulls to the packs. Uh, there are 10 levels to the shelter. They're all clear. How about the medical facilities? The medical bay is in D block. Sector 1, sir. It's filled with antiviral medicines and the latest medical equipment. The government spared no expense in its preparations to safeguard the political elite. I hear you, Lynn. Let's get Isabella and the rest of the civilians in here. On the double. Hey, we got Pika in the chat. Welcome. Guys, welcome Pika. This is the guys we check out as well. Oh yeah, Pico, hope you're streaming well. I saw you were doing Kirby Squeak Squad. Hope that went well. <clears throat> went well? Awesome. Right, well, well. Right away, sir. Captain, the rear guard's under attack. Looks like those raiders are back again. What? Someone want to explain how they snuck up on us? I... I don't know, sir. They didn't appear on radar. That's just great. What are you standing around for? Let's move. It's those raiders. We're done for. They'll kill us all. Calm down. Just follow evacuation procedures as we practiced. Do as you're told and you're, you'll get out of this just fine. Eh... It's all right, Isabella. Try thinking of something pleasant. That should help. When I'm stressed, I think of my lab. And we're at some nice rats or robots. I'm okay. If we never give up. Yes, of course. We must never give up. That's the key. Yo, we got Game Boy as well in the chat. Hello, Game Boy. Welcome. Of course, some reinforcements would help raise my spirits, but. <laughs> 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 the raiders are closing on civilians. They're going to attack. <laughs> civilians? You worried about them? <laughs> that settles it. Kill them all. Listen, war lesson number one, punk. Never care. <laughs> Leave them alone. They're not soldiers. They're civilians. It doesn't matter. They're weak. They're defenseless. They're the perfect prey, and that's why they're gonna bleed. Why? Why would you... I'm not letting you touch them. We're going to stop you. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Do your worst. <sighs> oh boy. Okay. Thankfully this is the last time we fight this guy, so... Okay, our mission objective is to wipe out enemy units or capture HQ. 
Alright, let's go over to tactic session. It's Lynn and Isabella with today's Tactical Tip Show. We rehearsed that, you know. Anyway, I'm with the strategy. First, have your frontline units fall back immediately. Strong units can build the defensive line in the central mountains. Oh, and keep an eye out for enemy aerial attacks. Use planes and anti units to keep them busy. Capture the airport and factory, then build indirect attack units and tanks. Once you have a good sized force, strike for the east. And don't worry about the war tanks, your bombers can take care of them. See you next time on. The Tactical Tip Show! <laughs> that was really fun, Lynn. Let's do it again. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> While the laws of war were fair to mind, it's also recognized the neutral. Uh, the. Neutrals, which includes civilians. Yes. Okay, so right now we gotta pull these guys back, but unfortunately there's no way we can save them because, well, this guy's gonna die, so. But these guys are gonna pull back. shelter. There's a range. Alright, there we go. Oh, yeah, they're dead. No! Yeah, yes, yes, yes! First blood to the beast! Take them all! Don't let them die easily! No! Get out of there! Do you read? You have to evacuate now! Dr. Morris? Isabella? Please, someone answer me! You gotta get out of there! Hello? Is anyone there? <laughs> They're all dead, punk. Your pretty little girlfriend, too. You couldn't save them. How's the taste? Burns, doesn't it? Why? Why'd you do that? There was no reason. Reasons? I don't need reasons. I kill because I can. And now I'm gonna kill the rest so I can hear you cry some more. How's that sound? What's that? I can't hear you! Come on, punk. Do you have anything to say? I wanna hear you beg. I... I wanna kill you. You threatened me, boy? You were right. I had no idea what war was really about. But I get it now. It's about anger and fear. It's about hate. My friends weren't looking for a fight. They were innocent. You want to live like a beast? Fine. You could die like one too. <laughs> now you're talking, punk. Now you're worth killing. <laughs> Damn. You just made Will mad. Big mistake. Clearly the beast has to be dealt with because he broke one of the laws of war. Yeah, he's gotta be we gotta put him down like the mad beast he is. I do want to lure his fighters, so maybe I'll put that there. Oh, 
Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, he knows. He's smart. <laughs> He's playing it safe. That's good. Stay up with some money. Right, got that airport done. This is game's interesting. Oh, so for those that don't know what this game is, it's a tactical strategy game. It's kind of like Fire Emblem. If you guys know Fire Emblem, it's kind of like that, but instead of like you know medieval battles and stuff, it's more like military and stuff, like guns and planes and boats, that kind of stuff. So it's kind of similar to the Fire Emblem strategy in a way, but um, but not exactly the same. So. Ow! Damn, he's really pulling me back. Huh. Really playing it safe. Well, too bad for him. Artillery in range. Uh, well, I do have to attack with it. Or oh, maybe I could please. Yeah. You know what? I'll do that. Let's get a bomber. Land, welcome to the stream. Hope we do well. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Ow. <clears throat> A lot of tactics in brains, huh? Yeah, it does require a lot of strategy. So how's the DS version? Never played this one on GPA game. Oh, this is the, 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 the <laughs> I can't speak. <clears throat> As I was saying, uh, the DS version's pretty fun. I like it. I like this one. I mean, I, I like the first two Advance Wars games, but, but I'd say out of all the games so for Advance Wars, I'd say this one's probably my absolute favorite one, because... I just kind of like it for like not only like for like its story that it has, because it's more like a grittier, sto serious tone compared to like the cartoonish, you know, storyline for like the previous titles. So, so. Your we last two? Oh, okay. You said this war series kind of like Presser to a Fire Emblem, but she put two together. Yeah, because like I said, like, this series, like, Advanced Wars, like I said, it's very similar to Fire Emblem, in a way, so. Oh, Fire Mark? Alright, let's go. I still want the Switch remake of the first two. Oh, so you want the Reboot Camp one? Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed the Reboot Camp of the Advance Wars 1 and 2. Although, um, I mean, it's an okay sequel uh, remake, but it's not like exactly like the, like the original games, but... You know, it's unique in its own way, you know. 
almost settled. War series started in 1998, but the Falcom Wars farm started in 1998. Oh boy, here comes the pain. Counter counter attack. Hey babe, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Also guys, please check out my girlfriend Jess on Twitch. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think we're gonna need an anti-tank for that. Nine trolls in ten minutes? Oh no. Uh, damn trolls. I know, right? Like, come on, like the only thing I was better to do, like Like why? Like why do it? Target me, Cam, and Savvy Mods when you ban them once and all of a sudden the end word. Well, don't let him. Uh, well, just don't, just don't give them attention. Just ignore them because they just want to see a reaction from you when, when they do that. So, it's best to just ignore them and just don't give them attention.
And I agree, you are awesome, Jess. You are. Just don't let him get to you. Yeah, you are awesome, Jess. You're the best. We all, everyone here thinks you're the best, Jess. Just don't let those, like, and they, those trolls don't know what they're talking about. They know nothing. I agree. You learn to ban trolls like doing well, that's good. Helicopter. Yeah, we're doing well, lad. Oh, god damn it. I meant to move it. Crap. Oh, well. Oh, really? You build another anti-air? Sick of that.
Oof, almost. Good. That tank's gone. Bomber. The good thing about Twitch, you can't make alts because they require phone number verification. Yeah. Target you again? Jeez. Well, don't worry. You got mods who look up to the chat for you, babe. Fourteen mods, including me. Oh yeah, definitely. The mod she chose for us, you know, she knows she can trust us because, you know, we look after her. Ha! Can't build anymore. Excellent. Alright, next turn we win.
I have to take a look too as well in the chat. 26 likes? Are we? Let me see. Yo, let's go. 26, four more for 30. Let's go. All right, guys, this is it. We win. It's over, beast. Goodbye. <laughs> no! It seems my little experiment has come to an untimely end. Oh, well. You search your purpose well, my savage beast. I am quite satisfied. But you are no longer of any use to me. You may continue dying. Hello? Is anyone there? Did anyone not manage to survive? Hello? Hello? It's, it's no use. They're dead. I failed them all. Don't be so quick to bury us, Will. We were just lying low till we could be sure it was safe. Dr. Morris! No time for lollygagging. I got wounded coming out of my ears. Isabella is faring poorly. And S rank. Let's go. Mm. We must never give up hope. Phew. Oh, that was tough. <laughs> Thanks for your GGs. The wound are in a sick base, sir. The civilians came through largely unharmed. Where's Will? He's with Isabella. Her condition has deteriorated badly. She was hurt in a skirmish, and the virus has continued to develop. Will she make it? It's touch and go. She's in Dr. Morris's hands now. Come on, come on. What's taking so long? Will, you're still here? It's been hours. How is she, how is she, doctor? Is the all right? I'm, I'm sorry, Will. Try and calm down, all right? I, I don't know if I'm the right person to tell you this, but... Oh, no. Please, Dr. Morris, it can't be. It can't. Listen, I... No, I don't have the words. I think I'll leave it to Isabella to tell you how she's made a full recovery. <laughs> God dang, Dr. Morse. <laughs> Will! Isabella! I'm going to be okay, Will. I went all to Dr. Morris's help and everyone's kindness. That's great news. It is, isn't it? You're a real piece of work, Doc. Why didn't you just tell the boy she was better? Come now, Captain. Where's the drama in that? You see the joy on Will's face? I felt like the director of one of those TV medical dramas. <laughs> <sighs> Unbelievable. May I assume Isabella is no longer contagious? You may. The virus incorporated the nucleoside analogs in its genomes, halting its life. Stop. Is she okay or isn't she? You are a most impatient man, Captain. Yes. Yes, she's fine. Although I must confess I had my doubts there for a while. She was on the verge of death, and then something changed within her system. While I was recovering from my surprise, Viola, hola, I can offer you no explanation for it. Why not just call it a miracle? Sounds like to me, Will, like, sounds to me like Will's prayers were answered. That's all the explanation I need right there. I'm a man of science, Captain. Miracles are not something I deal in, however. Truth be told, I feel rather superfluous, sir, superfluous in that, in that I truly did nothing to heal her. You know, well, one thing I can't say for certain that she's cured, so hip hip hurrah! <sighs> Where have you been, brother? I've been wanting to hear your report for hours. Calm down. Everything's fine. The girl made a full recovery. The girl? Who said anything about her? I want to know about the food. Is the factory working order? Will we be able to grow crops? Yes. That's what I've been told. You'll be happy to learn you don't need to worry about food anymore. That's... 
That is good news. Now, we've got some additional business to attend to. As a civilian representative, there's something I need to discuss with you. Go on. It's about this shelter. Do you think you could sustain this many people living here? We've assessed the situation and feel we need to cut our population roughly in half. There's... You can't be serious. Do you realize how big this place is? There's more than enough room for all of us. Listen, Brunner. This is the collective opinion of the entire civilian population, understand? And having soldiers live in here is problematic as well. Are we supposed to live in fear of being attacked? Is there a point to all this? You're soldiers. You got the weapons and the trained to survive anywhere. But we civilians are powerless. This shelter is our only chance for survival. We believe the solution is clear. Am I right, everyone? Shall we vote to decide, like, to decide this like civilized men? That's not a reasonable proposition. In terms of numbers, you civilians have an overwhelming majority. Additionally, a large number of our people are incapacitated by their wounds. Would you use that to your advantage? Is that the type of person we're dealing with? How disrespectful! I'm not trying to set up a dictatorship. This new world should be built on democracy. One person, one vote. That's what I say. Or would you rather threaten us with your guns and bully us into submission? Okay, yeah. I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> Stand down, Lin. Very well, then. We vote. Majority rules. Does that sound fair to everyone? All in favor of us having the soldiers leave the shelter, raise their hands. Come on. Let's see hands. I don't think so. Me either. What are you doing? Get your hands up. I gave you the plan. Now do as I told you. But they fought for us. They risked their lives for us. Some of them died for us. We can't just throw them out here. I want them to stay. I second that. You listening, Mayor? It would appear we have a clear majority. But, but, but how can you... What are you thinking? Fine. Do as you please. I don't care. God, what a jerk. And that's just the beginning, guys. We're gonna... The mayor... You're gonna learn to hate the mayor even more. <sighs> I despise him so much. Thank you, everyone. You have my gratitude. As you know, my people and I have been on search and rescue 24-7 since the meteor struck. But most of the folks we saved didn't last too long after the fact. To be honest, there have been times when I've been questioning the value of what we're doing. But knowing that you understand it makes it all worthwhile. Thank you. Well said, Captain. Hey, babe. I'm looking at your chat right now, and... I'm not seeing any more trolls. So I think we're good. And plus, you got a bunch of mods right now, so... You're safe and secure. So we're going to stay for a while. There's plenty of food, and there's safety in numbers. We can stay here together? Me too. I... I had nothing. I didn't know where I was or what I should do. I didn't even know my own name. Yet you took me in and cared for me. And now you now you say I can live here with you? Are you sure? Is it truly alright? Of course. And now that you've recovered from the virus, I'm sure you'll get your memory back. Perhaps. Two more? Oh. Uh, I don't see any right now. Oh, two more facility. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Fly people. And then the tactics. And then, uh, yeah, you fully upgrade everything. So, see? Look at that. New Game Plus is really helpful. That's why I always do New Game Plus when I play that. Saves the trouble of grinding, for sure. But I really don't need my memory back. I'm fine not knowing what happened before. 
Really? But... You give me all the memories I need. I'll never forget the kindness you've shown. Isabella, listen, I want to... 49? Hmm, let me see. What do I get? Oh, dang, almost a hundred. Wow. Um, Lieutenant? Are you... Lynn? Hello? Yes. Yeah! How do you do that? And why are you eavesdropping our conversations? Are you talking about something you don't want me to hear? Well, no, but that's not the point. It was a prior conversation and... Whatever. Captain Brenner sent me. We're to report to A Block immediately. If we're going to be living here, we need to set up rules and regulations. Fine, we'll be right there. Come on, Isabella. It's time to go. Yes, sir. Yeah, hey, look at that. Nice. Gang's all here. <laughs> All right, with that, guys, that begins the end of the first act of this game. But, of course, we're not done with the game yet. Hey, Twilight, welcome to the stream. Hope you do well. I ain't cheating. I'll never cheat. Okay, what time is it? I don't know, six. This map who came up with it? Let me see. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Man, some of the map designs are just like... Can you remember it's on hold again? Oh, okay, no worries. Alright. It's a dead camel map. <laughs> The camo. Alright. I think we'll go a bit more, guys. What do you guys think? Anyone do want two more maps? And then we'll call it there? What do you guys think? Alright, well I guess we can continue on, guys. We'll then we do one or two more maps, and then we'll probably call it there. There's a Minecraft... Uh, the hot... Minecraft to have, having to find Easter eggs. I wonder what kind of Easter eggs. Save you? <gasps> I'm here. I'll save you. I got you. Hold this? What is it? Oh my god. Jazz. Guys, look at our hashtag awesome jazz. So down with the plan. Ultium, Atrak, that's a long name. Savage King, Tasha got it, and Grande. Thank you, babe. You know what? Where is... Oh, he doesn't have it. Hmm. Well, I think we need to change that.
<laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Got you good. Uh, Secret flag. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, she did it again. <laughs> Pea shooter, light ferret, Tom Leo, Curry Pikmin, and Donkey Bond. <laughs> No, just you got me again. <laughs> Dang. Break me. Oh, no. Cheeky, cheeky, babe. <laughs> All right, well, thanks again, babe. Well, you know what? If we're gonna play two of that game, well, guess what? If we're gonna play two, then we'll do two. Who can play this game? <laughs> Who can play this game? Hype train! that I got her back guys so yeah <laughs> all right anyway guys back to the game I had 10 you lazy <laughs> well yeah but it's, it's it's cheap on YouTube compared to twitch I mean <laughs> All right, guys, let's begin the second arc of the game, shall we? With chapter 11. A storm brews. Oh, hi, train. Hey. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Working in the high train. <laughs> Any news, Will? No, sir. Nobody's here either. I see. We'll just have to keep looking. It's been a whole year since the meteors came down. We still can't see the sun. How long will it be before we can see another blue sky? Don't give up hope. The sun will find a way to break through again. However, I think it's time to increase our search radius, even if we have to leave the shelter. What's our supply situation, Lynn? We have enough for another three months. But more and more refugees have been coming to the shelter. We're already over capacity and they are still coming. 
if we keep taking them in, we'll figure something out. We're not turning anyone away. Will, what's the current status of the civilian population? Everyone seems to be getting by, and they're all helping each other. But then again, they don't know just how low our food supplies are. There's a growing faction of civilians who follow that idiot mayor. They sit around all day waiting for us to feed them and keep them safe. If they knew about the supply situation, they would likely turn on the newcomers. If the situation isn't good. I worry it could de deteriorate to infighting at any time. I won't let that happen. We'll just find a new place to live. We can't resort to find our own people. I'm worried that Will has pushed himself too hard. I know he wants to help, but he puts a lot of pressure on himself. He still sees himself a civilian, not a soldier. That's why he's worried that the other civilians might become a burden to us. He doesn't make things easy for himself. No, he doesn't. Captain, I started hearing some disturbing rumors from the incoming refugees. They say there's a war raging in the north. War? The world is in ruins. There's no one left to start a war. Regardless, there are rumors that the survivors have been banding together and that someone has dragged him into a full-scale war. However, it's only a rumor. Captain! What is it, Will? Ships have been sighted off the coast. I can't be sure, but it looks like some Rubino army survivors are under attack. Oh man, this is good, man. C Captain Brenner, help! They're attacking us! Davis? Is that you? You know him, Captain? I do. Davis used to be under my command. The Luxurians are all over us! We need support now, Captain! Why do Luxurians have to keep throwing, throwing fuel into this damn war? Please, Captain, take him up before it's too late. We're getting torn up! Hang tight, Davis. We're on our way. Oh, dang. I'm seeing it. Dang. <laughs> dang. The hype. <laughs> Alright, remember, your forces are red uniforms. The enemy is wearing blue. Davis forces are yellow. Don't forget that they are allies. <laughs> I'm seeing it, babe. You're getting broken left and right. <laughs> okay, so here we introduce the ship combat this time. So we have a few units to talk about. So first, um, we have these guys. Gunboats can strike other naval units with missile salvos. They carry only enough missiles to fire one full salvo, so use it wisely. They can also transport one infantry or mech unit. Are you okay, sir? What? Me? Oh yeah, sure. No worries. Now that Isabella's training, I'm not quite sure what to do with myself. Maybe I need a new hobby, like knitting. Don't say that. Damn. Okay. Our objective is to wipe out Amiya to catch HQ. Welcome to the Tactical Tip Show. We have a special guest today. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm I'm Davis. I work for Gen Admiral Greyfield, and I'm not that special. I'm actually just a guy. See my boss. Okay, too much info. Let's talk strategy, all right? Uh, look, I thought, I mean, I was just, I thought you were here to help, you know, with my problems. Yeah, because I've kind of been thinking about a lot of stuff, and I hope someone would. He's still talking. Hey, look, I'm... You could at least pretend to care. See, my boss keeps losing his temper and yell at me, call me a big... Yes, yes, terribly sad. Now on to tactics. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Cam Dog. A gunboat and rocket combo will work wonders on enemy cruisers. Your gunboats have only one shot, so you'll need to resupply them. Use the rig to build a temporary port on a nearby beach. At the same time, move troops to the central peninsula of Flanders. 
That's it for today. Thanks for coming. Uh, look, can I... Can we talk now? I really need someone to listen to me. I'm afraid you have to keep looking. But, but I thought... I thought you cared. Not really, no. Anyway, that's the technical... That's the technical tip show for today. Thanks for the inf help. Um, David? Damon? What was your name again? <laughs> Dang, man. Can you tell me more about this unit? It's a lander. Right. Uh, could you please give you a little more information, sir? I guess I could. But I think I'll let Isabella talk now. Over to you, Isabella. You can load up to two ground units into a lander. Run the lander to a beach, unload, or pick up units. My force have taken heavy damage. You're gonna have to take over. No offense, my priority right now is getting out of here in one piece. More roots join the fight? Good. Keep them coming. Come on, Lazurians. Let's wipe them off the map. One more like to 30? Holy crap, are we at Oh, actually two more. Yeah, we need two more for 30. Yeah, again, remember, it may show 29, but for the actual stream, it's actually less than one like, so. You didn't like, hey. <laughs> and hey, we got Savvy, hello. Milk delivery, special delivery. I'm doing well, Savvy.
grandpa's Cobra's a grandpa when he goes to war to get his milk back from the enemies. Some your battleship, I mean clap. <laughs> no, my battleship. Every win. Tasha, we have to retreat. What? Why? Con reinforcements, Gage. I want to keep fighting. Orders from General Foresight. But why? Look at them. Those Rubinel Force are laying ducks. Tasha, it was a direct order. Damn it. Calm down. There's no place for emotion on the battlefield. Stay cool, follow orders, and eliminate the enemy. That's all we have to do. Nah, I'll get revenge on all these rubes. I swear it. S rank. Woo. That was a success. Oh man, I thought we were goners. Good to see you alive, Davis. What have you been up to? Me? Aw, oh, I'm commanding a force for Admiral Greyfield. I've been looking all over for you, Captain Banner. Brenner? Look, I come sh I'll come straight out and say it. We want you and your men to join us. Explain. A huge war is broken up between Rubinow and Lazuria. Greyfield took command and formed a new Rubinow army so we could take it to him. This world is a slag heap. What could she possibly be fighting over? Well, the Lazurians started it. So now we gotta wipe them out. The Missourians are led by the legendary General Forsyth. They rallied behind him and hit us, but good. Truth be told, we took some lumps. Continue. Look, we, we have tons of supplies. Food, fuel, weapons, everything. Join us and you won't ever have to worry about shortages. They can all live easy. They? Who are you talking about? Captain, we know you've been protecting a big crowd of refugees and survivors. But you have to be running low on fuel and on food and supplies, yeah? Come on, join us. Our situation is not a Greyfield's concern. Look, man, uh, Captain, we need you just as much as you need us, and that's no lie. But we're both Ruben out through and through. Not even dudes they can change that. Join us, Captain Brenner. Ugh. God damn it.
So I need two more likes, guys, for 30. Can we get 30 likes? All right. Uh, I guess we can keep going for a bit more. What do you guys think? You guys going a little bit more? One more. Uh. Yeah, maybe we can go for one more mission. The th next mission might take a while, so. Well, not this mission here, but the mission after that might take a while, so. One more guys we'll do one more what do you guys think one more i think we do one more and then we'll now we'll call it there i think <clears throat> excuse me I'll do one more here, so. Alright, guys. We'll do one more mission, and then we'll call it the mission. Alright, guys. Chapter 12. History of Hate. Make sure to do one more... Oh my god dang <laughs> uh, At the Ru new Rubino Army headquarters. Our Greyfield, the 12th Battalion Commander has arrived. Well, don't just stand there like a slack jawed idiot. Send him in. Admiral. So you're the leader of the so called Brenner's Wolves. Frankly, I'm surprised you're still alive. For now. Yes, I remember you now. An adequate soldier, but crippled by ideological limitations. Your lack of patriotism and devotion was an insult to your Rubino heritage. The 12th Battalion always fought with honor and respect for the rules of war. Rules of war? <laughs> rules. You really are a relic from another age, Captain. Hey, uh, come on now. We're all soldiers of the Rubino, yeah? We should all put together against the enemy. I don't mention like I don't think much of Davis, but the champs get a point. We gotta plow those into the ground. It's time for dancing when it's that's done. Oh good, Wayland's here. Oh you know it ain't party till I arrive, brother man. That's straight up truth. Oh yeah, thanks for bailing me out of that champ. The leaves of the world, thank you. Couldn't resist the draw of the high life, huh, Waylon? Does paycheck help sleep at night? Like a bait with a bottle. Only a fool would miss out on this kind of living. Around here, they treat me right. Give me anything I ask for. I do whatever I want to, and everyone's too scared to say boo. Typical. Look, Abel Grayfield has taken the form of military and built a new Rubino army. But we need help to beat those crafty Luzurians. Not that we need any help, Admiral. Uh... Oh, great one. The Luzurians are an enemy to freedom-loving people everywhere. There could be no peace to tear our white from the face of this planet. Yes, yeah, so it's like a war for peace, right? The enemy forces into it. Are you with us, Captain? I don't want the idiotic war to continue any longer than it already has. 
My man can end the fight in day sooner, then we'll help. Yes! I don't believe it! Hmm, yes. I suppose you may be a modicum of help. We will have to wait and see. Go to Ruben I'll see. The hate Luxurians have been seen in the area. Send them a clear signal that you now fight for Admiral Greyfield and show no mercy. I hope this is, o I hope this is over soon. For a man of Rubino, he lacks moral flexibility and respect for power. Yes, sir. But I always remember him as a good fighter. Oh, God. Have all units been deployed? Yes, Captain. They are awaiting your orders. One wrong move and the Zurians will be all over us. Greyfield sent only a handful of units, and this force is formidable. Captain Brenner? Yes, Will? Why did the Zurians start this war? Why would they do that? I don't understand what there is to fight over. I imagine they saw us a chance to settle some unfinished business. Sometimes I can almost understand the feeling. I still don't get it. Well, I know how, I know how you feel. I know this war seems senseless. But the Great War caused unspeakable horror for our two countries. We traded black guys with the Zurians for over a century. The media has changed everything but the hatred between our nations. But still, I fear this war won't end until one side secures military victory. We have to force them to surrender. We have no other choice. Now let's move. Okay. So, we got a both naval and air battle here. So as you can see, we got not only um, our gunboats, uh, duster, helicopter, helicopter, but we also have some new units. So first we have the cruiser. Now cruisers are very effective against air units and also submarines as well. And plus they carry uh, two battlecopters as well. And here we have the submarine. Dive sounds after moving them to avoid detection. Okay, so salts can only dive. Diving conceals salts from enemy, but use a lot of fuel. Salts can be hit by other salts and cruisers while submerged. And of course, we have the one only battleship. Battleships are the only units that can launch indirect attacks after moving. A smart CO can use them to completely change the outcome of battle. My dad told me back then he and his cousin used to be get beat with a cut water hose back in the day. What? Huh. Now, I do want to say one thing about battleships. They changed one thing in this game compared to the other uh, battleships. Is that unlike in the previous Advance Wars games where the battleship can only fire stationary, in this game, they can actually move and shoot this time, as you can see. So yes, battleships don't have to be stationary now to shoot. They can actually move and shoot their targets. Which is way different compared to what the pre you know, battleships were in the previous games. So that makes battleships that more of a threat. So Kind of an interesting change they did for the battleships in this game, where they can actually move and shoot. As compared, as composed, we just have to have them stay still to shoot. Sorry, I tag. What do you mean tag, babe? What are you talking about? He tells me his stories and I end up laughing way too hard. <laughs> he is cousin still flinch upon seeing a water hose. Uh, <laughs> Why are you tag, babe? Oh, it's transparent. Oh, yeah. That's right. That is correct.
Airport, but whatever. Hit him where it hurts. Yeah, so you got Waylon helping you, but unfortunately he has three units, so honestly he's not gonna be much help. So Yeah, unfortunately you're gonna have to do most of the fighting for this chapter. Requesting permission to engage the Rubenel forces, sir. Granted. You know Forsyth. If you like, I could boost your chances of victory. I have prepared some special gifts for you and your men. Gifts? Yes, gifts. Weapons with the power to grant you an effortless victory. Such as a device with the power to freeze troops solid. It uses a special, specially developed formula created in my lab book. Good shoulder, man. That is enough. I will hear no more talk of this. Weapons like that oak are banned by international military law. Law? What does that mean now? There is no law in this world. A wise man would use all means of disposal to ensure victory. I am an old, tired soldier, Calder. One who fights with honor. I will not sully the proud name of Luzuria with your foul weapons. I don't think that position will prove popular among your troops. My good man, I am grateful for the aid you have given my army. It is thanks to you that we now occupy a position of superiority of Rubinel. But I simply will not abide the use of such terrible weapons. That is regrettable. General Forsyth, leave it to me. I'll destroy these filthy rubes. Bye, battleship. As the old saying goes, ah, you suck my battleship.
Whoop. Bad move, Wayland, but okay. Hey, leave my battleship alone. Jerks. Um, hello? I mean, attention. Come in, please. I want to speak to the Zuri commander. Can you hear me? Why are we fighting? The war is over. None of this matters. Huh? John? John, is that you? John? What? No, that's... It's impossible. John is... What are you talking about? This is Wing Commander Tasha of the Lazurian Airborne. Identify yourself. Um, I'm Will. I'm a member of the 12th Battalion of, um, Rubino. But listen, I don't want to fight. The Great War is over. It's not over. It's never over. This is about revenge. We fight and fight until Rubinel is destroyed. Look, I know our nations have been at war since before we were born. Both born. And we've lost... We've all lost friends and family. But revenge won't bring anyone back. It may not bring them back, but it will avenge them, and that matters. Could you just forgive and forget? <laughs> what a hypocrite. I am not a hypocrite. You're a kid. What do you know about war or revenge? You think you know right and wrong, but you've never been tested. All you, all you have are your words and your false bravado. John was my brother. He was killed by a Rubino army. Revenge! Death to all rubes! Revenge! But wait! I said all I'm going to say. I don't want to fight a kid, but if you're with the rubes, you're going down. Okay. Brings Cora's mustache to life. Use her tiny boxing gloves. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ow. <gasps> no, my battleship! Crap. Ah, oh, son of a... Oh, god dang it. No. Shit. Well, this is not good. Submarine. It's fine. We still got one more sub. But... God, that sucks. This is my battleship.
again. Ow. Okay. This battleship's gotta go now. All right, they should finish it. Yep, you're done. No! Those filthy roots beat me again! I'm so sorry, Jira Forsyth. I swear we will have revenge. Ah, A rank. Damn. Ugh, if I didn't lose my battleship, I probably would have got an S rank. Got this map. Let me see. What map are you doing? Oh, I see. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, you're finding Ferdiant. That's with Dimitri. Oh, boy. How long must this war go on? Ass <laughs> rank. <laughs> uh. Will, Lynn, look look to the wounded. Strategy? Okay, uh, let me see, let me see. Hold on. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, protect the strongholds. Uh, supply run. And Stronghold Sabotage. So yeah, I would use those strategies there. Okay, we'll split up and begin searching for survivors. Well, look what the cat dragged in. It's Captain Courageous' cabin boy. And look at you, ran right over a hell and breakfast helping the wounded. Captain Waylon? Waylon, kid, Waylon. Well, you just sound so uppity. I ain't some fancy pants general. So that was the good captain, eh? Still trying to save the world like a chump? Captain Brenner is a great man. What? You can call me kid or chump or whatever. But never speak badly of Captain Brenner. Psh, kid. Pshaw, kid. I'm just pulling your chain a little. That's all. But that reminds me. Old Gravehill himself wants to see you. He wants to see me? Afraid so. And he ain't a fellow that likes to be... That likes to wait, if you know what I mean. So hit the road. And tell the great man that I said hello. What are you still doing here, brother man? Get going. Go on. Shoot. Meanwhile, you want to see me, Admiral? 
Mm. Ah, yes, Will, wasn't it? Yes, yes, please do come in. You kept a cool head in that battle, my boy. I'm impressed. Commanding an army at your age is no mean feat. But you are Rubinel, and the proud blood of this nation flows in your veins. Um, thank you? What do you think of this life, Will? What do you think of the destruction which gives birth to this brave new world? I... I think it's terrible. WRONG! You have made a fundamental error. Do not do so again. Ugh, my throat. An error? Only the weak view this destruction was terrible. Some defeatists may even claim we deserved it. But they are fools. All of this has been but a test. A test? Yes, a test. A test to see who has earned the right of survival. The weak see us a catastrophe, but the strong see us an opportunity. You will. You could be one of the strong. You passed the test with flying colors. But people died. They lost their lives. It is natural that the weak should perish. I... I don't... This world as it is now demands strength. It demands the strength of Rubino. Our long years of war with Lazuri and the destruction that followed were all tests. Those who cannot cope with the harsh reality of today do not deserve to survive. You're wrong! What did you say? My parents were killed in the war. My friends were killed by the meteors. You think it's natural that they died? You think they failed some crazy test? You're wrong, and I'm not afraid to say it. How dare you speak to me in such a way! I am Admiral Greyfield! I will rule this world! I thought you were different from that fool Brenner. But I see he has brainwashed you with that nonsense about protecting the innocent. Be gone! Leave my sight! If you dare return, I'll see you hang for treason! Jesus. We can now play as Tasha. Ugh. This is just a start, guys. But let me just tell you right now, you're not gonna like Rayfield. Trust me. It sucks. We're gonna learn to hate him. <clears throat> Weak, strong. None of that matters when you know how to draw an anti seafarer circle. <laughs> Weak. Alright guys, I think we'll call it there now. Okay. Look at that. We have a lot of progress in this episode, so uh, yeah, we'll call it there. Alright guys, so let's do an outro first. So first I want to thank each one of you guys for being here. Uh, and uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of uh, Advance Wars Dual Strike. No, Advance Wars. Days of Ruin, not Dual Strike. God damn. I mean, those two mixed up. And as well, let's do our fan fun shout outs. Oh, looks like we only have two. That's, of course, to my girlfriend, Jess, for the 10 gifted memberships. So, uh, yeah. First, also want to thank that shout as well to the rates we got today. So thank you to um, Aaron W Gaming, but also to Joe C and Mercury 180 as well. So thank you guys for those rates. Um, and uh, yeah.
So, JP, I have a question. Since you're here, I want to ask you, what do you think of this game so far, JP, in your opinion? What do you think of it, what you've seen so far? I'm curious to see what you think. I know it's the game you've been wanting to me do for you. So I'm kind of wondering what you think of it, so... do that guys let's do another thanks it's okay so far but I do miss Andy Max Sammy Eagle Kambe etc yeah it is, it is different characters you know roster and stuff so I think you might like this cast though it's quite I kind of like this I do like the story of this cast so. I think you might like it but of course, we just started, so we'll see. Alright, guys. As always, if you guys want to be a member of my channel, it's only once a month. You can discuss some interesting approaches. Also, if you guys want to join my Discord server as well, which I do have, you guys are welcome, of course. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, X, or Twitch as well, uh, you guys can follow me there as well. Alright guys, let's go find us a raid target, shall we? So let's see if we can raid here. Uh, let's see. Ooh, excuse me. Oh. Uh, let's see, I got someone doing Kingdom Hearts 2, Final Mix. Um, someone's doing... Ooh, someone... Alright, I'm already raid him, though, but he's doing Jack and Dexter. Hmm. Uh, someone's playing Fallout 4. Someone's doing Fallout 3. Someone's doing Dragonborn. Or oh, Bloodborne, not Dragonborn. That's <laughs> Skyrim. Bloodborne. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh. Sorry for yawning. Well, I guess we could read. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we can raid this person. I think it's been a while since I raid him. So you know what? I think we we'll give him a raid, guys. And plus, he's, play he's playing one of my favorite. Game he's playing one of my favorite games. So you know what? I think we'll give him a raid. All right, guys, let's use the hashtag Ashen Demon Raid. And of course, we ask when we do raid, please be respectful. Do not spam. If you guys want to subscribe to the channel, you're welcome to. Just don't sub. You can search the channel. We don't want to do that. So. Also, guys, we need one more like for 30. Can we get 30 likes before we end? We need one more for 30. Do a hashtag 30 like hype.
Oh, not yet, Cliff. Oh, hello, we got Stargamer X. Welcome. Raid, sorry I'm late, but it's just me. Oh, no worries, Stargamer. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. How are you doing, Stargamer? Hope you're doing well. Also, guys, check out Stargame as well, another content creator. 30 likes? Are we at 30? No, we need one more for 30, guys. We're not 30 yet. Can we get 30? We need one more for 30. 30, 30, 30, 30. Fine, hey. Hey. Come on, me. You know you want to push it. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. 30. Let's go. Now, hashtag 30. Like, hi. You're doing an crossing Happy Home Paradise and got back into it. Awesome. And you reached uh, 770 a few days ago. Yo, let's go. Nice. I will never. Yes, you will, babe. <laughs> you will. You will push the 30. <laughs> you will push the like button. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, guys. Here's, I'm, I'm, I'm doing well, Star Gamer. We're just about to go on a raid here. Um, so, if you want to join us, you can. You don't have my phone. Hmm. Well, you don't have my phone either, so. <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this stream. Next time on Advance Wars Days of Ruin, we will begin uh, Chapter 13, Greyfield Strikes. Oh, boy. I will say this. Um, I'm not a big fan of this chapter right here because of one mechanic in this chapter, which we'll talk about next time. But I will say this. There's one thing about this chapter I do not like, which we'll get to that when we get to the course next episode, but just a heads up, I'm not a big fan of this chapter for one reason, so. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say. We'll find out what that is next time. If you're still down with collab, let me know on Discord. Yeah, sure thing. I'm always down for collab. No problem, Stargaver. Thanks again for the raid. Appreciate it. All right, so well, that's it, guys, for this stream. Thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And until then, we'll see you all in the next live stream, whether it be Advance Wars or other content as well on the channel. All right, until then, guys, we'll see you all next time. Take care, buddy. All right, guys, our target rigory rating is the one only Donkey Bond. Donkey Bond is who we're going to be rating, guys. He's doing Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix, and he's playing Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So, he's playing my favorite Kingdom Hearts game of all time. So, yeah, we're going to give him a surprise raid. The hashtag Ashen Demon Raid. Alright, question is, can we do also a live redirect as well? Pretty sure we can, but let me just confirm it. We can! Excellent. Alright. Okay, guys, we're gonna do live redirect to his stream, so that means just wait. We ask you guys just wait for a bit, and then when the stream ends, we'll be directed to um, his live stream at the moment. And then uh, we'll do the hashtag I shouldn't do raid, so. Yeah. Alright. Could you sometimes teach me how to do live redirect? Oh, yeah, sure, I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. It's actually quite easy, actually. Actually, you know what? Maybe I could do it real quick. Hold on. Maybe I can see if I could show you real quick if I want to. Hold on. Here, let me just, actually here. Let me do it real quick here if I can. Hold on. Hold on. Three, 
Okay, here. So I'll, I'll show you real quick. So this is how you uh, redirect. So basically, what you do. It's fine. I'll do it real quick. So what you do here is you go to edit right here, and then you go customization. You scroll down, and then you see redirect. And then basically what you do is here. I'll, I'll just remove this for example. So what you do is you go add, and then you look for the person you want to do redirect, and then you click that, and then you save, and then yeah, that's how you do a, a redirect to that person. So. That's basically how it works. So. There you go. So, yeah, that's how you do it. And that means, of course, when the stream ends, we'll be directed to the person who's live. And then, uh, yeah. No problem. All right, guys. Anyway, that's going to be it for the stream. Again, once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And until then, we'll see you all at next live stream. This has been your truly Hesicure Gaming. Sign off. Take care, buddy. Have a good night. Goodbye.